here. First quarter action at Pitt Stadium. Chad Johnston last two weeks ago against Missouri. Significant contribution in that game. Calvin Edwards is a big one at the left tackle. He's improved tremendously as a pass blocker. They'll need him today. And Zach Abraham, a very good possession receiver. 13 catches, still looking for his first touchdown this season. Mountaineers put it in play from the 22. Johnston play action, gonna throw it early. And he completes it to Vanderpool across the 35 to the 37 yard line. Good for first down. Coverage by DeNorris mostly, a pickup of 16 yards. Jason Chavis, second leading tackler to Tumulty in the linebacking group, and he has played well, the two best defenders for the Panthers this year. And in the secondary, Anthony Dorsett continues to improve at the right corner. First down for the Mountaineers. Robert Walker, big hole opens up as he gets across the 40, up to about the 43-yard line. Tumulty and Simpson with some help from Chavis. By untouched for the first couple of yards. You can't let a back of, uh, of his abilities get through that line of scrimmage without some contact. You got to force him to alter his course. Picked up five on that play. Tom Tumulty. Tough guy. Sixth in the Big East in tackling for game. Fighting an assortment of injuries. Second and four for the Mountaineers. Give it to Walker. Got the corner. Got the first down. Dorsett doesn't make the tackle down the sideline. Robert Walker finally knocked out of bounds by Mosley at the 19. Sumner's there too. First down, West Virginia. What credit Jim Freeman on this? Heck of a block. You want to have a fullback that can knock people out of the box. Here it is. Happens right there. And see, that can give him the lane. Now, what Dorsett's got to do is come up right now and squeeze, squeeze. See, you don't squeeze there. Then you come up with an arm tackle against a great back. You don't sell out, and you cost your team 20, 30 yards. 32-yard pickup for Robert Walker. His long gain of the season, 33 yards. Balls down to the 25-yard line. That is tough. We know Anthony will hit you. Boy, that's just that was just a lapse. So a big pop here on the third play from scrimmage for the Mountaineers. Just got that playoff, Johnston, in zone, Vanterpool is there, overthrown. He beat the coverage by Sumner, but Rashan Vanterpool was wide open. A lot of action going on in the Big East Conference this afternoon. Cincinnati at Rutgers, Temple's at BC, a tough game for the Owls, and BC off the Notre Dame win last week. Virginia Tech at East Carolina. That generally is a pretty good game. East Carolina had a big win against South Carolina last week, and Miami and Syracuse enjoy a week off. On the option, Johnston will keep it. Turns the corner, picks up a yard or two. DeNorris Mosley delivers the blow. Nice play by Mosley coming out of that left corner spot. Well, Pitt got enough, not enough work last week going up against the option of Syracuse. I mean, the Orange, they scared the heck out of you. So many weapons. West Virginia, I don't think, has the speed in order to get around the edge. And, and once again, when you see it for the second time, you get a pretty good shot at recognition. That was a good job by most of you. Falls at the 24-yard line. Third down, conversions. West Virginia, 32%. One of the better teams in the league at that and an overthrow of Abraham who was open at the 12-yard line covered by McGee, Curtis McGee with the coverage for Pitt, number 35. That was aggressive move though by Pitt. Mostly coming off the corner with a corner fire and you want to keep somebody in his face. Uh, you don't want to be sitting back on your heels. Johnny Majors in this group, we found out about it yesterday. You can't tell the dealers kind of ripped about it. You get a big run and you got to settle for three. It's a good move for the Panther defensively. 41-yard field goal attempt coming up by Brian Bauman. First attempt from this distance on the season. It's certainly long enough, and it's good. So a 41-yard field goal by Brian Bauman. And the Mountaineers have struck first in the backyard brawl. It's West Virginia 3, Pittsburgh nothing with 11.23 to go here in the first period at Pitt Stadium. We'll be back with more action at Pitt Stadium after these words from our local stations.
Mountaineers successful on their first offensive possession going seven plays, 54 yards, and watch this play right here. Well, look at the operation, and watch the seams. Seams don't move. That's a heck of a snap, catch and hold. Kick looks good. You can always watch the reaction. A little confidence. There's the headbutt. And we had a chance to watch the coach and coach it. Now, he's probably not that happy because it was a great run, and they had to settle for three. But he's got a young ball club, so this is what you do. You pat the hands. That's okay, guys. Keep going. Snapper Scott Bailey did a great job. There he is. Todd Sauerbrunn. With the foot into it, and it's a high kick. And Jay Jones will take three yards deep in the end zone. Changes course. He's going to run out of room. Oh, no, he doesn't. He picked up substantial room. He had a fabulous peelback block, and you heard it coming right at you. That's a 30-yard return by Jay Jones. Made something out of nothing. Good hit for it. It was Chad Dukes on there with the hammer hit. You start to wonder, well, I'm a little deep. Do I come out? Once you make up your mind, buddy, you better hit it. And there he's kind of a little trouble. Nice setup. Good feet on that. And there he comes right there. Boy, nice hit. Chad Dukes in on that play. It's good to see front line players out on special teams making hits. Good work. Rest assured, number nine, Randy Fulmore will look for number 40 next time they're on special. <laughs> Call it the 28, 3-0 West Virginia West. Cuts it off. Big yardage. Go back to 39. Knows the first down. Matt Tafone, number three, with the tackle for the Mountaineers. The numbers on the West Virginia drive. Quickly done. They had a 16-yard pass and a 32-yard run, but don't get six. Three will do. Mountaineers lead it by the field goal. Nothing. nothing like points, Dave, but you do have to look at it if you're hit and think it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Billy West has been one of the great stories in the Big East Conference this year, filling it for Curtis Martin. The list is out indefinitely with the ankle injury. All academic on uh, the Big East this week as well. He's a complete player. Out of the eye. Give it to the up back Maurice Washington. He picks up big yards. Good for first down. He got a chance to break it. Maurice Washington breaks numerous tackles into West Virginia territory. Matt Tifoni finally brings him down after a gain of 34 yards. Shake it up a little bit on this. Maurice, you can't come out now, pal. You're rolling. Prior to this run, his longest game was for 15 yards. Let's count how many tackles he breaks. That's five. That's six. That's seven. The arm tackles don't bring down quality back. Here he's just chugging along now. He's almost waiting for somebody to catch him. That's a good run. Maurice is in some pain. Balls at the 29-yard line. There's Billy West. The official got in the way, made Billy change direction. He's close to first down yardage again. Tackled by David Mayfield, number 30. Well, shades of yesteryear for the Pitt Panthers. That little flag on board. the play. Washington in serious pain. Yeah, he is. Isn't that unfortunate? Every week with Pitt, someone goes down. Illegal motion on the offense, a five-yard penalty, first down. That hurts. Washington with a 34-yard gain in West with that big gain there. Yeah, you, you have to settle it down offensively. What West Virginia's doing, they, they got a run through. They got one of the backers on a dog each play. Last time it was puppy right. And if you miss, you can big play. From the 33. Draw to West. And they were looking for that. Canute Curtis says, no way. He gets the big slam takedown. It's a couple points in wrestling. Yeah, it really is. That's why you hate to have a flag down. Illegal procedure, offside, lack of time. Because invariably, the defense will come back on the next play and stuff you. See, they were close before. Hey, you watch Puppy. He's kind of spying on this, and they see drops. That's good preparation. These kids know tendencies. And some of the things that Pitt likes to do because they don't throw the ball that well. See, if you throw the ball well, in that you're in that situation there. That's just good coaching. Second and real long. Second 25 from the 43. A tackle for a loss here by Kenneth Curtis. The 10 yards. Fitzgerald out pattern. Got a man there. Anderson breaks it back inside. And he draws the crowd at the 35 and goes down. Curtis Anderson with the reception to Phony and Mayfield. Bring him down. 
Good looking kid, Anderson out of Lynchburg, Virginia. You do like to catch those and turn outside away from pursuit. And you'll find it more so than not that the sideline is still a defender, but you've got a little bit more room. Curtis Anderson, just his third catch of the season. Hit not real successful in third down situations. In fact, they're last in the Big East Conference in third down conversions. A little shotgun, a little five wide receiver look. Fitzgerald got a man in the seam. Davis catch. Close to first down inside the 20. David Mayfield with the tackle. And it looks like he That's may close. have gotten the first down. That looks good. No binoculars. I won't cheat. Just a little eagle eye move. A little eagle eye. Oh, I like this. Good pass, bro. That's where it all starts. Good confidence. You step up. You throw it. I like to see those wide receivers go out and suck that ball in with the hands. Good stuff. Willie Davis with the catch. 24th of the season. First down, Pitt. Balls at the 18-yard line. Inside handoff, Chad Dukes. James Thomas, number 41. He's the top tackler for West Virginia. He wrote him down. And another penalty flag, and it was late, so we could be looking at a personal foul here. Well, it was against Pitt. Pitt and, and Reggie Davis. Thomas, number 56, playing, uh, taking Al Hines' job here. Personal foul against the Mountaineers. That's a coaches big are thinking, why, why, why? Why did a red zone, guys, do you need anything else to go against you? Hunt. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. Automatic first down, half the distance to the goal line. Why do I get the feeling, Doc Walker, that it might have been of the verbal nature? Yes. I kind of agree, David. <laughs> Sets up Pitt first and goal at the seven. Well, that's our first knucklehead move of the day. Put it that with West Virginia. See what the, what the Pitt Panthers can do. The outback. Chad Dukes, seventh play of this drive. Oh, and the right guard move. Number 75, Tim Glass. He moved, and this has been typical of uh, what Johnny Majors and crew have been seeing this season. Yeah, Timmy stepped up and played some pretty good ball for him. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. You know what happens is that that's why it's so important. So much time is put into film studies and class work, classroom work, and the you got to be good from the neck up to play this game. And you, you'll find that throughout the entire league that is taxing, this pressure, this crowd, homecoming. But you got to remember the snap count. Pitt's lost its last three homecoming games. Last win was against Rutgers in 1990, a 45-21 win. First and goal from the 12. Quick hitter up the middle, Chad Dukes. Oh, boy, he paid a price, didn't he? Try to establish something with that run game. Though. Show it to him. Well, when you get the big run, as it was evident a little while ago with Washington, you keep coming to it. Cut, sucks those linebackers in. Puppy Wright. Uh, Tafoni, these guys are very active, man. They'll go after you. JT Thomas in the middle, I like them. You know, these guys get off blocks real well, so this is what you have to do. It'll pay off for you later on in the game. Picked up a yard and change close to the 10-yard line. Second and goal. It's Gerald. Uh-oh, loose ball. Dietrich Gels, they were going to try to get him with the toss to the left. And boy, did that play self-destruct well one of the things that Pitt wanted to do was get a little bit more speed in the backfield try to create the big play which it all starts first snap count two you got to control the ball up the snap you know and this happens a lot a lot of pressure will go back to it you ever wonder why some clubs make mistakes more than others pressure well what happens well, Gerald yeah. never got a good handle of it and then by the time he did Knut Curtis is coming up field and made a big play and got a piece of the ball we have an injured Mountaineer on the field but James Thomas is the injured Mountaineer. Oh, he's a good one. 57 tackles coming into the game. And clear leader among the Mountaineers. Injury on the field. We'll get back. We hope James is uh, in fine shape in a couple of moments. 6-12 to go. Mountaineers lead at 3-0. We'll return after these messages. 
still attending to James Thomas, the middle linebacker for the Mountaineers. We're back here at Pitt Stadium. Dave Sims and Doc Walker with you. And I want to tell you that as part of Molson's sponsorship of Big East football, we will be selecting the Molson Knights player of the game later on in this telecast. Pittsburgh has done a terrific job on this drive, Doc, using up uh, five minutes plus on the clock, but the downside is that they've had three plays that have lost 10 or more yards. Well, they've been their own worst enemy throughout the year, and that's one of the reasons why uh, they don't have the wins that they should have. And how about Auburn? Auburn with a 17-game uh, win streak, Boy. leading at Florida. Big game there for K-State. Could really put a scramble on the Big East race for the Orange Bowl. The Dukies continue. They are unbeaten going into today's action. That's one of the great surprises. Fred Goldsmith, a oh, terrific he's doing job. A super job. When you win at Rice and then you come out and you win at Duke. If I'm Duke, I lock this guy up to a 20-year <laughs> contract as Mike soon K. as possible. Sure. Yes, indeed. Mike Schoen Fitzgerald needs a big play here. It's third and goal. Yes, third and goal from the 24. They go to the spread. Five wideouts. West Virginia will rush four. Fitzgerald throws short. And the shoulder pad catch attempted by Anderson. Should have had it. It was right there. Well, pretty much just like West Virginia now. Great opportunity to score six, possibly seven. And you get pushed back. And you get in this situation where uh, you're supposed to make this catch. The ball is there. And it's a combination of, I don't want to say alligator, I'm just on the jet. you got to use your hands. And he's got good hands. Stick those out, catch that ball clean, and give yourself a chance for the first down. David Merrick has had a good year. The transfer from Marshall. This will be an attempt of 41 yards. He'll try to match what Brian Bauman did earlier. Merrick, a left footer. Bring this one back in. He's got black. Got a good bounce, too. Oh, boy. That's a big play for West Virginia. This is going to be a touchdown. No play. Mountaineers have scored. Harold Kidd, number 22. It's 9 nothing West Virginia. And a little Dion move. Down the other side. Yeah, there we go, my guys. Special teams. I don't care what the venue. If you do it well, you're going to put yourself in a position to win. Now let's see if he goes for two on this. It'll be interesting. Let me watch the block. Got Price looks pretty good at that point. Right in the middle. Oh, what a crush. That is moving the pile. And then the bounce. And this is why now, boy, Colin, you have got to get over that football, secure it, and that's a foot race. Block looked like it was done by Stephen Perkins, and he hammered it, didn't he? Oh, that 61 was 61 yards was... on the return. Bauman's point after is on the money. So what a turn of events here at Pitt Stadium. Go from first and goal to moving points. And nothing wow. West Virginia. We'll be back to Pitt Stadium after these messages. Mountaineers lead it 10-0. That man, Harold Kidd, 61 yards after the blocked field goal attempt. He scores. And the Mountaineers off to a terrific start. And if you're Pitt, you got to say, what else can go wrong? Well, he did it to themselves. I mean, you know, you, you have penalties. There's a clean block. Great power up the gut. And unfortunately for the Panthers, the fastest guy on the West Virginia club gets the football. Forget it. He's going to score. Officially, they're calling it a 60-yard return. So the Mountaineers lead it 10-0. And just like that, I mean, Pitt had a first and goal. <laughs> no play, 61 yards. <laughs> but how about Pittsburgh with a first and goal at the seven-yard line after a personal foul? Then they had an illegal procedure. Then it was a Bumble. botched pitch yeah. to Dietrich Gels, and yeah. then Anderson dropped one. And here's Salbra now with another high kickoff. Jay Jones, two yards deep again, and he says, you know what? I don't have enough protection. I'll keep it right here. This copyrighted telecast produced by authority of the Big East Football Conference and is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Big East Football Conference is prohibited. All right, Dave. Now you need answers here, Doc. <laughs> if you're Pitt, 
I can read that quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. You can get it, you can get it done. That one wood course on. really paid off for yeah. you. From the 20, Panthers in a hole, down 10 nothing here in the backyard brawl, 540 to go, first period at Pitt Stadium. Keep it on the ground with West, looking but finding nothing. Maybe a gain of a yard, Matt Tifoni. Number three brought him down. Give me some, the questions are, what do we do now? What, are, what kind of answers you got? Well, there? I think you got to change up a little bit on first down. And uh, they tried it with the trick play in the first possession. That uh, had possibilities, but did not work. West Virginia covered it well. You come out with West. Uh, they've been feeding the fullback pretty well. But I, I, I'm looking for that five-yard, seven-yard hitch route. They need a confidence builder, one that can move the chains and a uh, high percentage. Second down and nine. Gerald, an out pattern. He's there. Ball's there. Anderson catches, gets the first down. Face mask, two. Penalty flag on the play. They get it across the 35 to about the 37-yard line, but see what happens. There we go. That's the hitch you're talking about. Good call. And Anderson caught it with the hand. He didn't let it get to his body. These are some things that ought to be gimmies, you know, with a guy that can throw like this. You get a catch. There you get the face mask. And, uh, you know, you, you, you go appeal and you try to move the chains. I, I like that play. A lot of great football teams throw that ball 10, 15 times a game. Oh, absolutely. Hey, we saw one a couple weeks ago in Miami. They've been living on that for years. Nothing wrong. Niners do it. Yeah. I think Art Monk, you look back at the all-time leading receiver in the NFL, a bunch of those hits. Face mask on the defense is declined. Personal foul. On the defense will be assessed 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Wow, so a 15 yard personal foul. Pittsburgh is dominated in possession, but you have to do something with it, and they have not scored. Nothing to show for it. You know, you're going to find more unnecessary roughness penalties in a rival big game <laughs> than, you, than you will throughout the regular season. So that doesn't surprise me that much. Al Hines got to go back and get his flag. Al doesn't mind the extra jog. He's in good shape. Might be speaking out of turn, but right? he works out the way you work out. He's in trouble. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Hey, nothing. That's one of those indefensible things. They got nothing to come back on with that one. I'll get you on something else. The pitch to gel. No, no, no. Another big play by Canute Curtis. Well, he didn't have a chance because the pitch was up around his shoulder. Curtis now has shown us that, that you just can't block him. Right now, he's just quicker than the offense. And it, a lot of it goes back to, to, to what you see. You see a guy with his speed in the backfield, although kid has not shown this as of yet. Good penetration. People up front, you got to give your guy a better shot at that. Lose eight yards on that play. Curtis, Farmingdale High School, Amityville, New York. Only a sophomore. Had been a linebacker. That, that's a pretty big transition. Go from linebacker to down line. Well, Miami does it a lot. With great success, that means they're quicker. That's one of the reasons, like Puppy Wright, man. These guys, look at Virginia. They're active. Out there is late at 10-0. Approaching the four-minute mark here in the first period. Play action on second and 18. Screen. West, heck of a catch. Breaks a tackle. Runs over a guy. Runs over Al Kitt. Fights his way to the 48-yard line. Puppy Wright. Had him back at about the 39, but he says, he'll tell Billy, I'll get you later. One thing about it, if you can't block Curtis, these guys up front, then you run a screen off and play off their aggressiveness. Put a decent inside fake, lead back, and see you see that big rush. Nice, nice trajectory on the football, good hands, and then watch him break it. This guy is so easy to just fall in love with because of his effort. Look at this. So he's still going. People all over him, still clawing, still grabbing for that extra end. Balls at the 48-yard line. Tripped into the gun. Trips to the top of your screen. Shells is out there. Billy Davis is out there. Underneath, Anderson let it get to his chest again. Matt Tifoni covering it. Curtis Anderson has caught one and caught two and dropped two because he let it get to his shoulder pads. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit right now. Tough thing on this, too, because Joseph was open. Let's watch. Here's our guy again. Curtis, nice little inside move. See, this is why this guy's a good pass rush, because he changes up. One time he goes outside, next little, little up and under, and he comes inside, and he's constantly coming at the quarterback. Cocker 
having some fun on this fourth and 12. Another beauty. Andrew Fulton there catch at the 11. Drop that loose. Ball winner with that. Still a loose ball. Pick down. Can you believe this? They might score. You're going to call it down at the three-yard line. I don't know about that, Dave. Eric Kasparitz survives with the recovery. I think that bad boy had six written all over it. Let's stop. Yeah. Yeah. The pit gets the break. Ball is at the two yard line. The rough son, yeah. Made his decision a little late. Now he's real calm. A little too smooth on that one. Oh boy. Now it's loose. And everybody's going. Pitt finally gets a shot at it. Now watch this. He looks so calm in that. Ball got a little bit too close to his chest. And that's what happens. Kind of reflects off the shoulder pads. Pass him up. Pass him up. So on the muff, hit takes over. They recover the two. And West Virginia in a little bit of a scramble right now, leading 10 0. But Pitt knocking on the door. They call a timeout. Probably a good move. Yeah, well, that door for Pitt. They only had 10 guys on the field. That, that's one of the problems. For Pitt, that door is like a steel vault. It really doesn't matter. I mean, they were on the seventh last time, and it resulted in seven points for West Virginia. So there's no guarantees for this offense to score. But it would be very tough psychologically defense at this point to not get this into catch it in. This is not a field goal situation. I tell you what, if they don't get a touchdown here, you're talking devastation here. You gotta knock this one in. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. One thing that Johnny Majors telling his team, hey guys, we gotta get this thing ready. But one thing I think that he attacks a lot of pride on that his ball clubs never ever quit in all the years he's been in coaching and that bill fits this big team. I don't think I've ever had a football team quit during the course of the game. I think it's a matter of attitude, spirit, leadership, recruiting players who you know have the right stuff in them. That's what kind of speed they have if they play to the last minute, they hustle in every play. To do when you never learn to quit, you can eventually learn to win. No signal, but Billy West is really in. He's in there for a touchdown. They give it to him. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. So the Panthers have capitalized, and Billy West scores. A long time coming for that. And that's a good point to say there's no quit the Pitt Panthers. All right, we've got a football game now. Billy West, this fourth touchdown of the season. Now, this is what they needed. They had a lot of success inside with the fullback. This time, look at that move. See, the move right at the point of attack. A lot of backs can't do that. They just run into the pile. That separates you right there. Billy West, he's a cut above. David Merrick is on for the point after seven of eight on the season. Trying to hold. Good snap. It's blocked again! But penalty flags all over the place. The block again by Stephen Perkins. He is runaway owning truck. the middle. Of the a runaway line. truck in the middle. Wow. Good ball. Full start, an illegal snap on the offense. The final will be played over from the eight. Wow. Lucky at that. Let's see what Mr. Perkins is doing. Once again, yeah, he gets a little jump, oh, but he's, he's not the center oh, right yet. Yeah. When you knock the center out, you get him rocking. And that's why they had the, the snap problem, because uh -huh. he knew he was coming. Yeah. And they gave a double hitch on that and still got wiped out. Merrick was talking with us yesterday about his confidence. He likes kicking here at Pitt. Told us he would get one. Well, let's see. Scott Bailey. Check that. Scott Bailey's with West Virginia. They're in their browser. Point after point. That was a close shave, and he missed it. He did miss it. On that view, it looked close, but he didn't. Oh, he just didn't get it. Boy, at least they got the touchdown. Yeah, they did, but that, that comes back to, to really stick in your craw again. That's the PAT. You know, you, you want to think it's automatic. We know it's not, but uh, Pitt can't get over themselves. Here's a look at Billy West and how he scored. Good blocking up front. Good effort, too, by West. Yeah, they got a surge, but he made a move at the end of that play to really define him and put him up in another category of running backs. When you can do that full steam ahead, uh, it, it really puts you, put you in good company. Take a look at the point after. Snap looks good. Hold is down. 
Boy, they get great elevation. The mountain there. Sliced it. Yep. He sliced it. When you look at him, at the, yeah. he knows it too. Throws the gun in his follow through. For you golfers out there, you know what happens when you come off it like that. And <laughs> you're, an expert, you're an expert at the back shot. Yeah. Oh, I can hit that good shot. I can hit that good shot. You can't get me on that one. 256 to go here yeah, to first period. You've got to hear your old man tell us the truth is about what's going on. Because only he really knows about your golf game. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing this one-sided deal. Italy Sims does know. Johnny Majors is company. I mean, this is a head shake. You get a break on the muff by Vanderpool to set you up. They do score, but then you miss the extra point. It's not, at this moment, super critical, but it's just the way things have been going. Barton can kick off to Vanderpool at the five. Got to outrun the coverage. It does. Bill set breaks down. Finally, they knock him down at the 24-yard line. The kicker, Todd Barton, number 41, makes the stop. Those didn't take long. Yeah, those are good ones. Like that. Time of possession. How about this on the game? Pittsburgh's had the ball almost 11 minutes. West Virginia only for a buck 14. Yep. Again, means nothing in yep. terms of bid. This. Other action. Be a lot of scoring in that game. Iowa State, Michigan State. Of course, later on, you've got Penn State, Michigan. Newt leading. Vandy. Eric Sire will be looking to make a comeback there. Yeah, he's a good one. Also the 23. Walker, maybe to the 25. Bad news for the pit defense. Tom Tumulty sprained his left knee. He's done for the day. That is bad, bad news for Pittsburgh. Tom Tumulty. Butkus Award candidate. John McCray, number 67, is coming to replace him. You know, Tom was hurt last week, and uh, John came in and made some really good plays, so I don't think they're stunned by this. By some time, got a man open. Overthrown is Gerald Long, number five. Gerald out of Gary, West Virginia, 6'1", freshman, was wide open. Yeah, he's a true freshman, and they, they wasted some good blocks on that play. Real that's almost like a freeze action, a little sprint to it. And uh, from an offensive line standpoint, the backs, they blocked it real well. He's got to hit those. West Virginia scored on its first possession. Had a big 32-yard run by Walker, but had to settle for a 41-yard field goal by Brian Bauman. Third down, eight from the 25. Johnson. Complete first down Mountaineers across the 35 to the 37. Zach Abraham with the reception, his first of the afternoon, 14th on the season. But a nice clutch catch. Really was. You had to double receivers, little slot, comes up, but he settled out right there. Soft spot. Ooh boy, that's tricky. He stuck that in. He put some heat on that one. Good fastball there. He's Clark with the tackle. I think it's within an offense, there's several plays like that that present themselves. you got to take advantage of it. Freeman, the impact. Walker, the deep back for the Mountaineers from the 37. Boy, the Mountaineers throwing a lot today. Johnston, little high. Vanterpool was there at the 50. Ball's taken off on him because people are getting open, and that's about the third time he's had a ball sail on him. That's true. That's it. It's interesting, too. Not Neil was talking about we want to run the ball a lot big today. He was throwing up some smoke. Well, he he thought right he now, yeah. right now, he's throwing the ball a lot. And so far, Johnston, you know, coming off the game two weeks ago, played real well and trying to get it together. Here's Neil and Stott on his quarterback, Chad Johnston. I think Chad Johnston, our quarterback, has done a great job for us. I felt that the week of practice before our Virginia Tech game, he was very good. He went in the Virginia Tech game. Probably played a lot of plays. The statistics were not good, but he threw the ball with authority. On our victory over Missouri, I thought he was excellent. And I just think that he has grown into the position, and I think that he's much better now than he was the first part of the season. Johnston a little high on that delivery, but there's pass interference against Pittsburgh on the play. Tough call, too. Really was. Pass interference on the defense. A spot foul on the first down. We believe it was on Derek Parker, number 27, playing at cornerback. He had a pretty good break on the football. 
I'd keep them aggressive. Because I guarantee you, Kansas will get an interception before long because they're just too close now. Freeman, boy, nothing happening there. Maybe a yard first to hit him, Tom Barnt, number 90. That doesn't surprise you, does it? No, not at all. 10-6, West Virginia. Approaching a minute 30 left in the first period here at Pitt Stadium. Dave Sims and Doc Walker with you on the Big East Football Conference Game of the Week. Barn on the cover of today's program. That'll make you play a little bit better. Lose a yard on that play. Back to 46. Draw Freeman. Rolled up the back of one of his linemen to pick up about three. John McCray, number 67 for Pittsburgh. Credited with the stop. Well, we know how tough these guys are. Panthers, you're talking to Chuck Drisback. He was talking, telling us that, you know, really their strength is toughness. These guys, I mean, they'll play those gaps well. I think if you want to attack, you want to get on the edge. As we mentioned in the Rolling Rock Open, and our tips is that you're just not going to out-tough the Pitt Panthers. If you want to play straight, you know, come right at you. They, they're going to be able to deal with it. Third down and nine. Out of the gun, Johnston. Under pressure, delivers. That's made at the 40-yard line by Rasan Vanterpool. That's good for a first down for the Mountaineers. Good, good throw and catch. Boy, that is nice. Takes hours upon hours of practice to have a timing route, to be able to hit the out. And watch his second year right here. We'll give you a pretty good shot of it. He got four across the board. Nice break. Turn on it. Not a lot. Not the explosion you want out of the back to go for the ball. Maybe get the hand out. But it was a good throw. Great catch. Nice operation. 28 seconds to go here in the first quarter. So Rashawn, he's going to make up for that drop. No doubt about it. Get him up. That set set up. The pit touchdown. Got on it. for Abraham. He's there. Touchdown, West Virginia. He smoked the corner. Derek Parker. Well, they worked on it. They really did. You know, what happens once you get the pass interference deal and you get a little tentative, his break was there, and they give him the out and up. That was a great call. Oh, boy. Out and up. Mike Jacobs, coordinator, the Mountaineers. Good call, pal. Was out and up. Not even a ball pick on it. Nice drop, catch, and score. First TD of the season for Abraham for Johnston, his third TD pass. Ryan Bauman out of the West Pole is good. It has been a good offensive uh, quarter when they've had the ball for West Virginia at 17-6, Mountaineers. Well, Mountaineers uh, went to the air a little more possibly than we expected, but with good purpose. They saw something, although I thought Pitt was in pretty good position to make some plays. But just when you get in that position, a good staff will run it out and up on you. And they run the gadgets. You watch this. No ball fake on it. That tells you how open he was. Very nice. All you got to do is finish it. Nice catch. Caught it with those hands. And you get in and that strikes the fans up. And Abraham is not one of their burners either. He's got a couple of catches this afternoon. Fine drive by the Mountaineers. Eight plays, 77 yards. How many folks do you think uh, took the drive? Morgantown today. Tell you what, they have a good group of folks here from West Virginia. Shelly Poe, the sports information director, said could have upwards of 15,000 West Virginia fans here at Pitt State. Yeah, it helps you out a lot. Especially players, you, you recognize those kind of things. You look up and you see your colors. Sauerbrunn to kick off one more time. 22 seconds to go here in the first period. Boy, he crushed out and warmed up now. Oh, brother. <laughs> Todd Sauerbrunn kicked it out of the end zone. Nicely done. I hope Todd doesn't make a lot of plans for his Sundays coming up in the future because I think he's going to be working a lot. So no question. Be able to kick. He's a long distance field goal kicker for the Mountaineers and only the nation's number one punter. Here's your scoring drive, the numbers, and Abraham made it look easy. Yeah, that's solid. Well, they took advantage of, of an aggressive play by, by Pitt. Pitt down 17-6, 22 seconds to go in the first period. Keep it on the ground, Chad Dukes. Maybe a couple. Maybe a couple. Charles Emmanuel, number two at the tackle, the strong safety for the Mountaineers. 
to a good operation running behind tight end John Jones. John is an interesting young man. Uh, he's a freshman, you know, and they, they think he's going to do some great things. Uh, super athlete. Sooner or later, we're going to see him work into the pass offense. 15 minutes complete here at Pitt Stadium. Mountaineers off to a good start. In the backyard brawl, they lead it 17-6 over the Pitt Panthers. We're back with second quarter action after these words from our local stations. Flag of West Virginia among the other Big East flags here at Pitt Stadium. Dave Sims and Doc Walker with you. And 17-6 Mountaineers and Johnny Majors has seen more than his share of injuries with the Pitt Panthers. What about that injury bug, John? We've had an injury bug that has been real bad this year. We lost our two starting receivers earlier, uh, and we also lost Curtis Martin after the first game. But you got to go home. And we don't have much depth at Pitt. Most building programs don't. And that's been a problem. But you can't, you can't really cry about it. You can't sit around and make excuses about it. You have to show up every Saturday and play with the ones you have and try to make them better. And here are some of the people who have gone down to this point. They're out for today's game. You got five right there, Martin Butler, etc. And then here's some of the guys that are out in Tumulty. We just lost him back in the first quarter to a sprained left knee. Second and seven from the 23. They bring the blitz, and West has nowhere to go. Stephen Perkins with the stop. You saw number three, Matt Tafoli, come in from the left side. Boy, Perkins made a play on that that you could, hard to justify. Now, the numbers and the time of possession is overwhelming by Pitt points on in, an indication of it. But other than that, you know, not bad. Not bad at all, especially in terms of total, total yards in West Virginia when you put in a 43-yard touchdown. But I want to get back to Steve Perkins because this kid has played a tremendous game today. 37 from the 23. Fitzgerald, they pitch it. Dietrich Shells makes the first down pick. That's about the 34-yard line. Kenny Carter talking to him. He says, listen, we got to make some big plays. We're not getting any, so we have to do something to make us get good plays. One way right there, speed on the corner. Well, you got to have it. I mean, uh, what, what, the one thing this offense has yet to do is break a lot of big plays, put it into the hands of a kid with some wheels, and this is what you get. Balls out to the 34-yard line for the Panthers, down 17-6, a minute into the second quarter. Fitzgerald throwing today, four for six for 45 yards. West, well, he's a nice runner between the tackles. Across the 40 to about the 42, Charles Emanuel, number two, knocks him down. Billy West averaging 123 yards per game. 5'10", he's, you know, he's 195 pounds, and he's strong, though, and I think he's strong from the abdominal and the, and the, you know, the thigh area, and this is how he, what it takes, really, to run inside, and he, and he wants to. Some guys shy away from it. Takes up seven on that right from the 41 now. Fitzgerald switching off. Play clock in two and one. He gets it off. The bring the blitz. Bangs it off high. Jones overthrow. Coverage by Aaron Beasley, number 32. Jones can fly, but that's a good matchup with Beasley. Yeah, Beasley had a great play in the, to open the game up on the trick play. Real smart corner who's not going to give you much. I mean, he is uh, can play that man to man. He can he can bump. Uh, he's been playing the position now for three years at West Virginia, and uh, one of the best corners really in this conference. Sean Fitzgerald last year at LA Valley College, 27 TDs and 10 interceptions, and we're hoping that some of that magic can get going here at Pittsburgh. All kinds of movement up front. Ruben Brown pointing across at Knute Curtis and company. With his good hand, with the hand without the bandage on it. Oh, <laughs> Ruben, boy, he is a stud. 78 hurt. Yep. in blue. Pit ball, offside defense. Break for Pitt. Day West by. Virginia penalties. Third in the conference behind Syracuse and Temple. Don's setting him up right now. Setting him up. Third quarter. <laughs> a 
We could be at one of these places next week. Noon time start. Make sure you join us here at Big East Football Network. First and 10 now. Ball's at the 46-yard line. Quick hitter, West. And Tafoni. Tafoni trying to grab at that ball. Yeah, he did. Nice play. Yeah, he did. Oh, Matt, that's what you want to do, man. Go after it. One of three games, Miami and West Virginia, Rutgers, B.C., Pitt, Virginia Tech. We could be at one of those places. Make sure you tune in at noontime next Saturday. Boy, those are all good. Three-yard pickup of Tom Tumbleton. Done for the afternoon. Not too happy about it. Charging defense play. It's Jump got some time. Hangs it up high. Billy Davis is there. Nice play defensively by number 22. You've seen him already. Harold Kidd, who scored on the, on the 61 yard as we fight the bees here. Credit John nice Browning, play. though. Credit John Browning. You know, it helped those big guys up front, and they've been doing a good job today, Hawkins and Perkins. And here's you watch it. Little play fake. See, he just doesn't quit. He was literally blocked, but he didn't quit. You get those big hands in there, it hurt to throw a little bit. Had a receiver wide open, and because of a great defensive play up front, this is the result. And you know what happened on that play because of the pressure? Fitzgerald had to throw it almost three-quarter to side on. Really threw off the timing. They go with five wides. Third to seven. Oh, oh Ben Smith! Who's, who's going to get it? Fitzgerald comes up with it. Oh, great brother. Lawson Malika's snap. Boy, I mean, high and and wide, and Fitzgerald comes up limping. Tafoni was coming after this. He really was. West Virginia has continued to put the pressure on him all afternoon. High snap, Tafoni, yeah, here we go. See, Tafoni's on the run through. So he's coming in. Those are great hands by Fitzgerald. Give the quarterback some credit on this one. Oh, look at Tafoni at the bottom. This is an all-out jailbreak. It looks like a punt coverage. But he gets some hands on that. That could've been worse. Cochran. Good punt. They lost 23 yards on that play. Chases Bantrum pull all the way back to about the 24. Good play. Nicely done by Jay Jones for Pittsburgh. Takes it back inside the 20. A 51-yard punt. What a bailout by Nate Cochran and Good Jay Jones. Team. Outstanding specials for Pittsburgh. Panthers trail 17-6. We'll return after these messages. Good to have you with us. Dave Sims and Doc Walker with you on the Big East Football Conference Television Network. 17-6 Mountaineers. And right now, if you're an ear fan, you're hoping for the club to grind some clock, get a good ground game going. Not me. Not I'm not the control. I'm playing action. I'm going up top, baby. <laughs> I'm going for the candy. All right, let's see what they got. They have uh, Abraham and Long at the top of your screen. Walker pounding up the middle. Davis is there to meet him. That's just not going to work. James like that. Hey, bring it right to me. Really love it. I mean, these guys, tough as nails. They enjoy that. They like contact. That won't work. Pick up a yard. Jason Davis on the stop after a game of about two yards. I still think this set them up for a big Another hitch and go? Well, maybe so. I, I like this little play action. Try to get one of those get a post hit right down the gut. Good credit for the two-yard pickup. Throw it out pattern. It's there. So is Zach Abraham and a save and completion. Slides into the bread basket. Same kind of play that West Virginia threw in the Rutgers game that Alcides Catano picked off for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. So the Mountaineers, that was Boykin making that throw. Important game there. Gators trying to they get keep back it close. It. They can win it. You bet. Duke now into the second quarter. That's a lot closer score. Nebraska not the same without Tommy Frazier. No, but to keep that cold K-State offense at bay, that's good. Out patterns complete to the 31-yard line. That's a good reception. Fancher pull. What the catch. Chad's got a real nice stroke. I mean, I like I like what I see. Vanderbilt, three catches, 39 yards. Yeah, nice little setup. So you got those shoulders into that one. Everything's nice. Nice spin on the ball. That's, that's very nice. Very nice. First down for the Mountaineers. Balls at the 30-yard line for WVU. 
inside. And a nice play. That was Jeff Nixon. John McCray, number 67 for Pittsburgh, knifed in and stops the action. Strong arm, that one. We talked about John last week against Syracuse and going up against their triple threat offense, and he was very reactive. Tumble T was injured a little bit as we watched. See, they're trying to get the edge. You get a pretty decent block by the tight end, and see you have, there's a lot of garbage there, a lot of blue shirts, old hats to the ball. They played that real well. Mountaineers on offense go with Kentroy Barber and fullback Jeff Nixon at tailback. Spelling Walker and Freeman. Sounds the play action. Boy, he had time. He threw the out pattern. It would have probably been out of bounds. Abraham going against number 17, Maurice Williams. Yeah, he wanted the out and up on that one. McGee on that one. They had it snipped out a little bit. Sometimes you get lucky. Maurice Williams in the coverage. I think he wanted the out and up. Johnston coming into today's game, a 48% passer. Two touchdowns. He's added to that the one completion for six to Zach Abraham and two interceptions. Only two interceptions. Third and long. Good pressure by Penn. Down he goes. Give credit to Gerald Simpson coming in on the defensive right side and the play finished by Mike Halepin. But downfield, nobody was open. See, the key to it is that the secondary played it great. All right, let's put you back in the, in the tough part now with the big guys in the trenches. Watch this up front. A pretty good fit there. Then you get a slip. And now watch the garbage come in. See, there's guys jumping up. There's our guy again, John McCray. They're all over the place. What you don't see was the secondary play great. Sauber hits it. Taking it to 35 by Janoris Mosley. Breaks a couple of tackles. And a nice play by number 64 for West Virginia, the snapper Scott Bailey. 43-yard punt, a return of nine. Sauerbrunn averaging 50 yards per kick. Would like to do that one again, but it was effective nonetheless. We're back to Pitt Stadium after these words from our local station. Pitt Stadium. The Golden Girls. Yeah, a lot of glitter. Now they just need some points to back it all up. John Fitzgerald done for the moment. And John Ryan is the new quarterback. His numbers to this point in the season. Played last week. Oh, dangerous. I saw that coming. Yeah. And that's going to be six. There's nobody going to catch up. Beasley. Touchdown, Mountaineers. No flag. Saw the angle wide side of the field and knew it didn't feel good. And sure enough, Beasley with his 10th career pick. 23-6 Mountaineers. The other thing is if, and again, it goes back to the sound coaching. In his first throw against Syracuse, he went right up top. And so you know he's going to come out and throw the football. Then he telegraphs it. See, he always looks left. He looks left. Hey, guys, I'm throwing that way. And he said, thank you very much. Make the catch and then score. Boy, boy, boy. The big world continues. Alvin's point after is good. And West Virginia getting well in a hurry here at Pittsburgh. Lightning strike again. They had a 60-yard block field goal return for six. Beasley, 50 for six. Uh. And it's 24-6 Mountaineers. 9.16 to go. Second quarter here at Pitt Stadium. The ship is leaking. We're back after these messages. High-risk pass for Pittsburgh. Return for West Virginia. Don Nealon enjoying a 24-6 lead here in the second quarter. Like putting salt on a snail. I mean, you, you look the whole way, then you throw a knuckler. And your receiver, you got to come back to that break on the ball and kind of help out. I mean, you got to have a feel for when things aren't going to work well, but quarterback just doesn't give you a chance at all. 24-6 Mountaineers, and Brian, I don't know what he's smiling about. Beasley, sixth interception this season for Ryan, his second interception this season. So the ears looking good here. 24-6. Nice bus ride. <laughs> A. Jones oh, deep to receive. Todd Sauber kicking off. Oh, oh, this is crushed. Five yards deep. Don't even think about it. 
You're right. Todd Sauerbrunn is writing a contract for himself just about every time out. Right. I'd go back and have his transcript checked. You sure this guy's not about 25 years old? I mean, this guy has a leg. Boy, he's, he's amazing. He is amazing. Yeah, I can think of four or five NFL clubs who could use him tomorrow. That's yeah. It. That's it. That's exactly right. All right, I put the question to you again at least a third time. What do you do if you're pit? You're down 24 6. So, what do you do? Just put it up or well, try the, to reestablish? Well, the, well, the right lead dive won't help you much in this situation, you got but that right. you, know, you still got to stay within the framework of your offense. Billy West will try. Ooh, look, I hit there at the 24 yard David Mayfield, the first there, and then Eldridge Williams, number 19, was the finisher. Yeah, I like that. See, I. We talk to a lot of defensive coordinators, and a lot of them coach that. First layer comes in, you hit, you stack, and then you hit these guys that come in and top it off. Oh. And those are the hits that hurt. You got that. Those are the ones that kill your plans after the game. If you're going home. <laughs> <laughs> I need a tub, large, and some hot yeah. water. First down is he it back inside to the 35. That's the oh, an official got hit. Oh, no. It took a shoulder. Yeah, that's tough. See, you, when you don't have them on pads, I always say it. Hey, I'll look for the day to see the guys in stripes with shoulder pads and helmets on. Only it's starting to change. Not quite spectacular yet, but great looking day here in western Pennsylvania. I want to look in a couple of weeks. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. I know in northeast Pennsylvania, the Poconos, it is spectacular. Down in West Virginia, down in West Virginia, knew the full and fair. On time, West delivers a blow. Boy, he, I mean, he just can't say enough about that kid's toughness. He does not shy away. You got some of his offensive linemen to watch and see. You got a guy with his abilities. You nobody to watch. Go out and hit somebody. Gets the ball out to the 39-yard line, picks up four understatement that this is a pivotal drive for the Panthers. They get seven now and you always have some, you always have a chance because maybe you can get a break yep. uh, on some kind of a special team or a turnover. It's 24-6 West Virginia 740 to go here in the first half of Pitt Stadium. Ryan, same play, wasn't there. He picked off early, throws it up to Seagraves at the 49 of West Virginia and incompletion. Harold Kidd covered I'm, I'm surprised that they look to that same play again, wide side of the I'd field. I'd be scared to death to do it. <laughs> At least this time, it wasn't there. He pulled it back. I still believe, and, and I know this is just, they want to get to John Jones for 86 and get him involved in the pass offense. Jones goes to the top of your screen. Joseph in the slot. 36 from the 39. Ryan brought to West. He saw nothing was there, and he was right. Puppy, puppy, a oh, bad puppy. Gets it done. Puppy, right. Nice play. And he salutes. He's been a pit panther. We were talking about puppy. They've been calling folks to call that since day one when he was a pup. They've been calling puppy. He reads this out. He said, I got you. See, he's square. Now watch it. See, that's lateral quickness there. He goes out, stays up, catches up. Makes it play. Put the bark on him and the bite. Cochran. Punt to Vanderpool. Vanderpool puffed his last punt that set up the pit touchdown. They let it now. A good roll. Still a forward roll. Down to the six yard line. Nate Cochran. 55 yards on the punt. Best part of the pit offense to the moment. And they finally let it roll at the five-yard line. It kept rolling for another couple of inches. 24-6, Mountaineers in charge. Seven minutes and change to go. Back after these messages. Back at Pitt Stadium, Dave Sims and Rick Doc Walker. 24-6, Mountaineers over the Pitt Panthers. Saturday morning, Saturday, 11.30 a.m. on Channel 4. Scores, Bauman with a field goal, then Kidd a 60-yard return of a blocked field goal, and West Brown with a kick, the only score after the puck. Johnson's going to throw, out and up, Abraham, he's got a man there, Abraham is there! 
for the completion to the 50 to the 49 yard line of Pittsburgh. First down, West Virginia. He beat David Sumner covering 47 yards. Kind of thought this would happen in the last series. You asked him what would happen. Where are they going to go for it? There you go. The play fake, little pump. See, this time he had to have the pump. This kid comes out of his break as well as we've seen this year. Some guys lose speed when they come out of a break. Not able. He comes out of that full tilt. Good operation. The ball is there. And he's uh, moving the chain. Zach Abraham having a huge day almost to the century mark. And he was there. Ball at the pitch 49. Hammering up inside. Frank Moore makes the stop for Pittsburgh. Jeff Nixon on the carry. Good news for the Pitt Panthers, as we mentioned. Frank Moore, another freshman. A lot of young guys playing for Pitt, and uh, they can only get better with experience. And you watch these guys here. Pretty good balance. See, they're on the attack. See, you take on the guards. This time, you, you get off that block. It's no crime to get blocked. It's a crime to stay blocked. See, he works off of there. John makes a real good move to the to the football. Big Frank Moore. Ball's at the Pitt 47. He that carried to Robert Walker picked up the cup. End around. Take the end around. They got a man wide open. Benjamin Bullock there. Touchdown, West Virginia. They're doing it all now. We're rather dazzled for basic football, steel hard nose, precision, and scores. 47 yards of beauty. And just starts to get you a little fake inside, fake on the reverse. Then you come back off the freeze action. Nice rope, all alone. Nothing to do but catch and score. Yeah, there we go. That's the way it works in practice, coach. So much for Don Nailing saying what Nailing saying we're going to throw the ball. I mean, uh, run the ball a lot. Yeah, well, they said things have opened up. They saw them. They made the adjustments. And the former we'll quarterback it. at Bowling Green, he and Mike Jacobs, yeah. they've been electrifying in the calls, and the kid's execution has been marvelous. Now, that's legit. Now, that's the guy who had a week off. See, when you come off that bye week, you miss football. You're antsy. And so he's just tickled to death now. They come out and execute, and they, they've taken some knocks this season. They really have come off a near perfect season a year ago you have a big hit graduation West Virginia now Bob is taking three sticks playing third Mountaineers coming to the game two and four oh and two in the Big East tied with Pitt at the bottom of the conference but certainly uh, going to take a step up today three plays 95 yards and boy I tell you what two monster plays the 47 yarder on the first play of the possession to Abraham on the out and up down the left sideline. Then they just sort of soften them up a little run inside and then they go uh, on the fake reverse throw and then the throw. Just a marvelous play. And Van Tabool again with that. He makes up for his muff punt with a big score. And again, you talk about how many road teams have won in the past. The rivalry, one of the reasons is that there's a lot of pressure at home. You know, all the families in, the alumni, I mean, it, it does create a little more pressure. Robert Jones at the goal line. Looking for a hole and he finds it. For just a moment or two, they string it out nicely. Good job by the West Virginia kick coverage team. He gets it back to the 21 yard line. Bernardo Anderson, number 58, brings him down. Now we had a chance to chat with Ruben Brown yesterday and talk a little bit about the rivalry and also talk about this club's uh, the morale, the psychic. He says, hey, with Johnny Majors, you're always ready for things. It wasn't always the case here at Pitt through some of the past coaches, but with Majors, we really believe that this thing will turn around. Nice little scoring drive. Yeah, quick it was. Right Very quick. What Mountaineers showing some offense today. Lockford returned also as well as a pick for six. Sounds like some confusion on the West Virginia side. You can't imagine what they, what they saw they didn't like. They only had 10 guys on the field. Number 42, Canute Curtis, was on the bench. One timeout left for West Virginia and three left for Pittsburgh. Stay with us. Coming up at halftime, we'll take a look back at happenings in the Big East last week. Just for kicks, a nice feature for you on stats and highlights, and those stats and highlights will be dominated by the Mountaineers. Yep. 
of their action. That must be a few. 14-13, the Gators have come back to take the lead. Good defense today, boy. That's a Nebraska K-State game, 7-6. How about your Spartans? Michigan State, how much longer do you think George Perlis will be there? I don't know. There's a lot of there's not much salt left in that hourglass. Georgia over the Commodores. That'll be a good one, though, with uh, Virginia and Georgia Tech. Some of the action going on around the country today. Pick, put it, play at its own point. Ryan gonna throw, not a surprise. Hangs it up high, real high, maybe too high. Jones is there! Oh, oh he beat it! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! No flag. And no flags. He beat Aaron Beasley. Beasley thought he had an easy one, a gimme, and he didn't get it done. Touchdown. Well, he was listening to you. And you right. said, hey, this is easy, it's there. But it's tough when you're running and you're trying to get the trajectory of the football. Now the pit fans thinking sooner or later. The football guys had his smile on us. And it's no surprise about this one. He launched this. He's going for it. Now you read, you just break it. Nice catch. Good throw. Pit Panthers. Oops, Cy. Beasley jumped a little bit too soon. Plus yep. he didn't have an angle. And Gels Kung wants an 80 yard TD play. With Dietrich Gels is second touchdown of the season. Investing his previous long 64, uh, 64, yeah, 64 yards. yards. He can get there. He can the open 64 yards and uh, that's what we're going to do. Absolutely. And he didn't think his play call was compatible with that defense, so they call a timeout. Hey, no sense in taking those timeouts in it happened. Can't do anything. Yeah, you know, settle down, make sure it works. Let's go back to West Virginia. Number one, they start with 10 guys on the field. They have to call timeout. So mentally, they're not into this. That's one of the downsides to when you get a big lead early on. I'm sure the coach is over to tell them about this. This is a great seam route. Goes right for the post. The ball is there. I don't know if it was misjudged or just he wasn't there. Nice pass. Good throw. Good operation. Now Ryan has something to smile about. What did he need uh, that he after his first? Cass coming in in relief from Sean Fitzgerald was picked off by Beasley, picked up by Beasley, taken yeah. in for a touchdown. This gives you a little hope. One thing about college football, unlike any other venue in my mind, you know, these kids will remain hope. They don't die. Majors team, you know, they just will quit. And so if you give them just a little glimmer of hope, some points, you know, maybe, yes, maybe, they get a chance to try to scratch something out of this. Beasley had returned an interception 50 yards to make it 24-6. All right, here we go. As the Panthers go for the deuce. The kicker, Merrick, had missed the extra point after a Billy West touch, touchdown. Sprint out to the right, Ryan in trouble, picked off. This could be going for a deuce down the sideline. This could be a defensive two. That's a pony. He's got an escort. He's going to score. Oh, brother. And no flags. So instead of the two to Pittsburgh, it goes to the Mountaineers. Unbelievable. That's a double wow wow. Wow. He's gassed, too. When oh, the beauty Matt of thing. that was the phone. had all the boys with him. So yeah, he did. He had the no police escort. Him. Had the police escort. Once again, the pressure of the West Virginia Mountaineers. I mean, they're coming at you, man. They are coming upfield. JT was hurt a little earlier in the game, but not on that play. What good reaction. Now, watch how the Mountaineers turn now on offense. They start running and blocking and chipping. And what you don't see is Jails who's trying to get into this thing. No way. Got your buddies running with you. A little out of gas for Matt Singer. Boy. So we got two shots now that will make each club highlight film <laughs> going the opposite way. I'm telling you, the, the, um, as the bees start to swarm, I'm telling you everything, over you, everything is happening here at Pitt Stadium today. And Pitt Panthers, I mean, what do you say anymore? 33 to 12. And they did, that play happen after timeout. 100 yards. 100 yards by Matt Tafoni. Now, Matt, he's the athlete in time. Now, watch this. Pressure once again. Look at Thomas. Thomas on the head. 
Oh boy, Matt picks this up. Look at the hit. I like that. Boy, Beasley. Beasley with the hammer. Oh boy, Jell's down at the got, bottom of the Jell's got hits. hit. Jell's got hit and yeah. took Curran with him, too. You know, Dave, I think you might have scored on that. I one. have scored on those. <laughs> you know, Dave, go back. Seriously. Maybe the old man can commission. Was he shooting that? Was he shooting that? Well, that was that was film in those days, right? <laughs> it is film, yeah. which has been transferred to videotape. I'd like to see that. See if you can bring that. Conjure up a couple of pop corner highlights. Yeah, yeah right. 33 12. Man, we have seen a whole way, a whole lot of ways of scoring this afternoon. They go 100 yards with the two, and now they get a chance to go back on offense with a very hot quarterback. Chris Patton made the stop there for Pittsburgh. 33 to 12. Feels like we've been playing forever still with 519 to go. In the first half, so we're uh, chugging along. Remarkable. We've seen a block punt return for touchdown. Interception return. I mean, just the two-point conversion has uh, taken back. Been taken back by West Virginia. Just remarkable. Kind of takes a little of the sting off the big off the bomb for the score. Sure does. Johnston, meanwhile, is very high. Seven for 13, 183 yards and two touchdowns. Keep it on the Freeman hit hard. Yeah. And again, you know, like you talked about earlier, just uh, Matt it with the tackle, just to keep that in the game, just to keep everybody yeah, honest. Keep them honest, but they're not going to give it up. Next week, we have three choices where we could be. It's almost like three-card money. Yep. Where are we going to be? Keep moving the shells around. It'll be West Virginia, Boston, or Blacksburg, Virginia. Might be Alumni Stadium. I got a feel it'll be Alumni Stadium. Johnson, play action. All day, throws across his body and overthrows number five, Gerald Long. Well, this is what Pitt has got to hope for now, mistake. You know, they are due, you know, a pick, or they'll have to force a turnover, or you go for a strip. Anything to turn the course of this football game. Scoring has just been remarkable. It was 17-6 West Virginia after the first. It's now 33-12, 4-33, 4-37. Left here in the second quarter. Third down and nine. The blitz. It was picked up. Abraham's got it right out of bounds. Good for first down for Mountaineers. The Mountaineers continue this drive. Nice strike. Once again, Anthony Dorsett covering. And I think Anthony wants to get his head up on this. Because I think if he gets some vision on it with his, with his athletic ability, he might pick this off and go the other way. Once again, you look at the quarterback now with confidence. I mean, Chad's whipping it out. There's Anthony there. Could stop that one. Your Chad's in that zone we talk about a lot in sports. Where a guy just gets a good rhythm, really gets back on the of and just lets it go. Big day for Zach Abraham. Four catches a block ten. Here's Robert Walker. Now the ground game. Gets a good block. He's got a first down. He got a tremendous downfield block by number 69, Tom Robsock. The co-captain kept that play going. Now this is this is a big time run against the pit defense. They don't give up a lot within the tackle the tackle area. But Walker and company, this pretty good little see I guess the operation on this delay kind of helps. And then you watch this Rob Sock, pretty nice block on Dorset. Guys rumbling. Yes, good finish. Good finish. Another good block in there too by Joe DeLong, number 75. Penalty flag, legal motion on that one for sure. big guys up front, I think, kind of came up a little early. Gonna walk it back against the Mountaineers. Ball. Ball start. Offense. Mountaineers backed up. West Virginia. Got eight complete passes. Vanterpool four catches, 85 yards in the touchdown. Abraham is 110 yards in the touchdown. Into congestion when the hole is breaking out to his right. Yeah, but again, that's more like the pit defense of the gut. And again, Tom Dumblety, who is out. 
re-injured, uh, we think, his foot. Left knee, sprained well, his left knee, knee so he's out for the okay. day. So he's gone. John McCray has stepped in and played a pretty good job. Does Tumulty, uh, boy, it gets you. It hurts. 33-12, West Virginia leading Pittsburgh, 345 in county. On the option, McCray had Johnston, let him go, and... And Johnston finally trips over Zatini Moody, number 48. Boy, Moody played big goo. He played that with his back towards the quarterback. While he was there, again, they, I think they learned a pretty good lesson last week against Syracuse as to, you know, how not to defend the option. And this is a great effort by John. He doesn't quite get there. And watch Moody. See, he's kicking. Boy, that's great. That's a great feel for it. He's a little bit out of control, but Moody kind of stops, throws that foot and ankle out, and makes the play. Side High School, made famous by Larry Doby and one-time principal Joe Clark. Third and 13. Johnston, Lentz, got a man down there to tight end Purnell, and they overthrew him. Lavette Purnell being covered by Curtis McGee. Panthers juiced it up that time with the pass rush. John McCray again, very active young man. Coming in, applying some pressure. And they uh, got Chad out of, out of his rhythm. It's a sour run. Get a chance to punt it here. He's going to go for it. It's only his uh, second punt today. Janoris mostly deep, and he may not be standing deep enough. He's at his 16-yard line. Oh, that's a gorgeous kick. Oh, that's four that's yards deep. deep. That is ridiculous. <laughs> what a weapon. Yards. What a weapon. And he is aiming for the corner, too. Too many guys we see are not aiming for the corner. Yeah. He tried to angle, and that's why he's a little bit upset. But that's what he was averaging coming in. That what a game. 58-yard punt. Oh, boy. But his letter, envelope box stacked, phone calls. Hey, John. Hey, John, yeah. Huh. I'm very, every agency in the country is trying to get a hold of this young man. Look at this. I mean, this is not a fluke either. Oh, you have to watch this 90-yarder. That's up to date, the corn too. Huskers. Yeah, look at that. Outstanding. That's good stuff. And he almost put it in the corner. That's why he's a tough guy. He's a football player. You know what I mean? This guy is a into the game. Guy. Five wide outs. No match for Pitt. Down 33 12. 240 to go. First half throws underneath. In and out of the hands of the receiver at the 28 yard line. That's number 89, Vital Joseph. You know, it's easy to sit up here in the, in the booth and, and, and try to coach, but. You can't look at your the receiver you want to go to. The young man's going to have to develop the ability to look off receivers. If not, I mean, you, you just can't be successful on this level. Be second down from the 20. Bit down big here, 33-12. Stay with the five wide. Look at the receiver. Anderson makes the catch at about the 27-yard line. Aaron Beasley with the touchdown to his credit. He was also burned for a yeah. touchdown, makes the tackle. John's got a good arm. I mean, he can get it out there. He can get out. Coming up, stay with us at halftime. We'll look back at last week in the Big East Conference just for kicks, and you're going to like that feature. And stats and highlights coming up, too. Just for, just for kicks. You bet. It's about Todd Sauer. Uh, it better be. I want to see that. Picked up seven on that play. Make that six. Ryan looking right, throws right, got a man, and Billy Davis corralled down at about the 31. Should be good for first down. James Thomas back in the game after his injury earlier. And that is good for first down. Clock stops at 2.33. Bottom of your screen, trip receiver, Davis, Askew, Gels, Curtis with the sack, though, back at the 19. Penalty flag, though. Good play by Canute mask. Curtis. Beat number 73, Matt Bloom, but a face mask violation. Now let's watch this and see what happens with a little face mask. Here's Curtis, nice little outside move. The hands are kind of high. And I think it gets him right about the, yeah, see, those guys grabbing those face masks. There yeah. it is. That's a double, double face mask. I haven't seen that in a while. 
It's the five against the Mountaineers. Boy, on the other side, Ruben Brown and Stephen Perkins. Pretty good little matchup. Brown is just posing figure. Quarterback draw. Curtis says no, not, not, not even close. Don't even think about it. Knut Curtis has had a fabulous game. And all over the place. Well, you can take a few more gambles on defense when you're up on the score, but I mean, even in the first series, it was uh, obvious to us that this young man was loaded for gun today. I mean, he has really been all over the place. Ryan, got a man there. Oh, good blow delivered there. Number one, Van Washington got a chance and unloaded. The team. Well, he can do that. You know, Van, uh, they expect great things out of him. For a first down, Mr. Last Outing, this is very action on the part of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Yep, he did, and they got him back to price. Askew comes inside. Nice move. Picks up the first down in West Virginia territory at the 44. I'm not sure every coach does that kind of thing. They get this class you know, playing, but that's why they're here. They're here for an education, so I, I applaud uh, Don Dillon for that. At the West Virginia 44, Longo, Elige Long, Longino, rather, makes the stop there and shotgun. Good recovery. Here comes Curtis again. Rose and underneath to Anderson. Can he get out of bounds? He does after Beasley pounds him. Brian Beasley, active today. Yeah, Hammerman. He's not bit trying to mount up in good hands again. Boy, that's really good. Quarterbacks, uh, we don't give them enough credit sometimes for being athletes. Yeah, that's nice. Good hands on the snap. Three straight first downs for them for the uh, Pitt Panthers. Five in a row. Ryan has completed now with his five receiver offense. Got a man on the post. This thing is there. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. No flag. All right. Good football. Brilliant. On well, both sides. But this is a, it's not like West Virginia doesn't want to go in and knock them out of the box. Five wide receiver setup has really opened things up for the Pitt Panthers. You know, it spreads the defense. West Virginia wants to get in there. And see, I don't know at that point if, if Thomas thought he had a little help or not. Or Emmanuel just didn't get over to help out enough. But either way, it was good recognition by Ryan. Good throw, good catch. All right, Panthers go for two. They're going to try to get their own two. Last, actually, now they're going to go for yeah, the I go kick. for one. Yeah, I go for one. John Ryan is the holder. David Merrick will get the extra point. Snap. Merrick, after missing his first, got the point, but hurt himself. And he's holding his left lower leg. Well, that doesn't bode well. is good. It's 33-19. See if he doesn't run into something. Let's take another look. Snap nice. Good. He kicks. And he he follows through. through. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. When he's going down. Yeah. He's almost going down after the kick. See, we watch the kick. Plant foot. Follow through. Kind of jumps up. Then he comes out and buckles on him. Yeah. I wonder if that's not an old injury. That shooter didn't look like he has yeah. a ton of support either. We might have to oh. get him back on some stairs. We talked to him yesterday about getting the stairs. He said, I don't do much running here. <laughs> hey, 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 Dave. He said, I'm going to get you out on this track, pal. Well, this says, yeah, this says a lot about Johnny Majors' club. It, these kids won't give up. It's pretty good operation here by Ryan. you got to recognize what the defense gives you. Go to the right guy. Ball is perfect, and you get a score. Spread that field and one of the hallmarks of the week. Well, it's that we got to make something happen. Yeah. Here. Coach Carr just said, hey, look, we're going to spread this thing out. We think we can pick some spots. And that was one of them. So they're only down by two touchdowns. Ryan, seven for 10, 153 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. That interception was returned for a touchdown, and he completed six in a row on that drive. Not there bad there. there you go. 80 and 138. Now you want that real estate. It negates the great punt. 
But what you do is you come out with it, you hold on to the football. Uh, that's a good operation for Pitt. The last two Pitt possessions, Ryan is connected with Gels for touchdown for 80 and Davis for 34. Nixon with the return runs into the pile. The special team pretty fired up, ignoring the whistle. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> Number 86, John Jones. He's a freshman. He's a freshman. He's starting out here, but he's enthusiastic about it. You can't play this game unless you're pumped up. That's right. Especially on special teams. And Ford putting up numbers. My goodness. Auburn leading Florida. Oh, that's good defense. That is real good defense. This is a surprise. I mean, I thought there'd be more points with K-State. Yeah, Michigan State over Ohio State, 7-3. Here's your favorite. Oh, Duke. Duke's playing good football. Really Duke are. Just hanging it up and down, but that's a good operation. Vanderbilt, Georgia. Eric Zyre going to need a real big comeback now. Well, he's capable. Let's think about it, Jordan. Virginia's starting from its 15 up the middle. Draws a crowd in the final minute of play and here in the first the half. John McRae with the Walker. tackle. Walker with the carry. Kentroy Barber. Remember we talked last week, Dave, about Syracuse and how they consumed the ball offensively and that pit defense, they just wore them down, they outquick them. Well, you know, today's a little different, you know? The guys a little more you know, rested up, enthusiastic, give them some points, give them something yeah, to hang their head on. One timeout remaining for both clubs. Action moving in from around the country. Rutgers in Cincinnati. Boy, Rutgers struggled mightily last week against the Hermit. Just underway Temple, B.C. Tag out. What do you think? Maurice Deshaies will probably one of his better performances a week ago. Yes, indeed. Boys we talked to him a few Maryland. weeks ago and said he's looking for some improvement. There's too, your Irish. Buddy. There's your Irish. Talk about trying to bounce back. Boy, did it. West Virginia, man. Notre Dame pounded last week at BC. Brigham Young can get it up, though. They can get the ball in the air. Final 53 seconds of the first half. Dave Sims, Doc Walker with you. Big East Football Conference Game of the Week from Pitt Stadium. A lot of scoring here in the first half. It's 33-19 West Virginia. Ted Johnson has thrown the ball well today. But not on that one. He had Vanterpool. Looked like he was looking for more of a slant a little bit closer. Vanterpool saw that he had an angle, maybe could catch it and keep going. Yeah, he, he was. It, it, it seems now like Pitt has kind of put themselves in a better position defensively to take away some of the gimmies. West Virginia was up 31-6 at one point after the Vanterpool 47-yard touchdown pass. And then a Gels 80-yard TD pass to Foney on the two-point conversion. He converts for West Virginia. With the run of his life. Made it 33-12, and then Davis, a 34-yarder for Ryan makes it 33-19. Oh, collision. Nothing doing. Nice play by Mike Halepin. Jason Chavis was there, too. And Roy Barber on the carry. So, Boy, Barber doesn't get a heck of a lot. There's some collisions in this football game. I, I like this. There's no love loss, and you can feel it. You can hear it. I mean, watch the clink. See, that's all Rydell. That's Rydell to Rydell, but no give up. See, that's just a super effort all the way around the board. You got to like it on both sides. Call it no game. It's going to set up a putt situation, and here's a hit just used its last time out. Give Ryan a couple three plays to get in there with. Go for broke when they get the ball back, depending on, you know, what Sauerbrunn does. Now, here's the thing that's, if you're West Virginia, you feel good about it. You know, Sauerbrunn's capable of sending it all the way down to the other, uh, near the other end zone. So, weapon, he's like playing with 13 guys. Indeed. You're hoping he can really root one out. Make Pitt go 90-plus yards or so with no timeouts and under 40 seconds. Well, I think you got to go after him. you got to try to right. block it. Jones, going to block, almost got it. No flags, mostly, because a good job doesn't let it bounce. He'll settle down at the 43. Mostly, didn't miss it by much. Sauerbrunn pleading his case to no avail. A 42-yard punt under pressure. 
This guy gets 42 yards. In the front. That's great special teams. I thought it was necessary. You got to go for it. I mean, he's not going to flinch, but this is almost blocked. Boy, that's close. That is really close. Good operation. Little Hollywood. It's not as much Hollywood as you like to have. He, he'll learn to throw those arms back like those kickers do and act like he's been assassinated. David Sumner came in from the top of your screen. He's the one that just missed it. This five-receiver offense has been good to fit the last two possessions. See if they can cut this score in half. Ryan better get rid of it. He's going to go down. Canute Curtis with the pressure again. He has been all everything today. Number 42 for West Virginia. He's a player today so far. He really has. No one can block him. You have no timeouts. At this point, you got to get something out. You'd like to have had three plays of that. Now you're lucky if you get two. Lucky to get one at this rate. Six, five, throw the out pattern. Anderson runs up the field and blew off about three seconds there to pick up some yardage. Not great clock management at all on this one. Boy, they had a shot at it. Really did to come out and get three shots at the end zone. Now you have nothing up to do but you know, a charity shot at the end zone. That's right. Does the name Cordell Stewart mean anything to you? I think it will always. You play. It was one time in college football that you just thought about Flutie. Every one of these situations, your subconscious, you thought about Flutie. Now, it's a Cordell. Cordell. It's a Cordell move. Yeah. You think about West, Westbrook. Yeah. West Virginia now with four outfielders, if you will, back at the 20 with the picket line and the secondary group. Well, the key is that you can't let any, anybody get deeper than you if you're West Virginia. That should have never happened. Well, we do it. well, with the Big Ben play, four receivers, top of the screen. Ryan hangs it up short, high. He's going to get it. Picked off by Harold Kidd at the 15-yard line, and that will do it. 30 minutes complete here at Pitt Stadium. We have seen a lot of everything. Here. Yeah, so you got hit, then you get a bad step. We got a flag down. Legal man downfield, so that will do it for the first half. It has been entertaining. Oh, yeah. It has been interesting. I'll We've seen the some day. unusual things. 33-19 West Virginia at halftime. We'll be back with our halftime activities after these words from our local stations. <laughs> Jeff Nixon deep to receive the kickoff coming from Todd Barton. And the second half is underway here at Pitt Stadium. Vanterpool chased out of the end zone, so the Mountaineers put it in play first and 10 at their own 20. Pitt Panthers won just one of their last eight home games and against West Virginia, their last win against the Mountaineers back in 1991, a 34-3 decision. Last time Pitt knocked off the Mountaineers at Pitt Stadium was 1986, a 48-16 victory. So here we go. Johnston has completed passes to just Vanterpool and Abraham on the afternoon. Going to run it with Walker. Got to corner. 25 and out of bounds at about the 29 by Anthony Dorsett. A good block. Chris Click, number 70. Got outside and knocked some folks down. Well, this is what I referred to in terms of getting back to what West Virginia they likes to do. Their walker, pretty good production, six carries, 65 yards, but they had one big run in the first half, and it's been not, it's not, it's not as consistent as they'd like to be. So you got to go at it, attack the edge. Back in that first possession by West Virginia, Walker broke one for 32 yards, and the Mountaineers had to settle for a 41-yard field goal from Bauman. Short, straight up the gut for him, and he didn't get it. Boy, Pitt, <laughs> it's so tough. They are so and tough between the tackles. And a one. Tom Barnt, Mike Halepin. We're at number 90, Halepin's 94. They make the tackle. Halepin had a good first half, too. He's been, been real active. One of those tackles that can, can rush to pass and also play the run well. Bring up third and length of the ball for the first down. Just underway, second half. It's 33-19 West Virginia. Freeman gets the first down. Even got it on the second effort, too. Jason Chavis 
Initiated that collision. John McRae with some help. Well, the linebackers love this. Jason Chavis, he's, he's one of our favorites because he's a guy who's active. He, he intercept the ball, watch the field. Here he goes right through. I mean, good. you go right through an offensive lineman, keep those pads low and make it happen. I mean, Jay Brooks was like the invisible man to him. He walked right through him. Must be noted that Tom Tumulty is done for the day. He's got a sprained left knee. Now there's the double wide look, top of your screen. Throwing completes it to Abraham at the 40-yard line. Zach Abraham having a monster day. All star performance so far. I mean, Zach's done it all. Five He's caught catches. the outs. Yep. 119 yards and a score. He's caught the out, the out and up. You know, he caught a post route. He's done a little thing, the intermediate and gone deep. He's got five catches today. Came in with 13. He's second and a very short one. Abraham to the bottom of your screen. Brady Town Freeman picks up the first down. Justin handoff to Freeman. Oh, that Hollipin. <laughs> Mike Hollipin has just Hollipin. can't root him out. Can't root him out. Good tackle play on both sides, Pitt and West Virginia. And you know, he, he realizes this. You've got Tumble the out of the lineup. Although McCray has played well, you still look hurting a little bit. Virginia Tech has given up the lead in Temple, which has been hammered the last two meetings against Boston College. More of same today. Rutgers taking the lead on Cincinnati after being down early. Another first down for the Mountaineers, this time from the 41. Not a lot going on there. Tom Barnt, he beat the block of Calvin Edwards, number 76, to get free. Good play by Tom. Just great interior play. We say it over and over again. Teams that have tackles that can play well. Take on blocks. See, this is just a picture perfect. See, he keeps his shoulder square. The offensive lineman now is out of, out of position. Then you can close. You get some help from your pals. You got a good defensive effort. Stalemate on that. No game. Second down from the 41. Play action. A lot of time for Johnston. Completes it to LeVette Purnell at the 48 of Pittsburgh. First down, Mountaineers. David Sumner was in pretty good position. It looked like he got the front hand to knock it down, but he missed. <laughs> LeVette, big time play, pal. Make that his 23rd reception on the year. Been a real nice surprise for West Virginia. As you mentioned, Dave Sim, they didn't go to him in the first half. You gotta go to a guy with this kind of ability. Watch this. That's a hand in your face. Your vision is a pure. This guy puts those hands on it, makes the catch, gets the first down. Great operation. Good threat. That Purnell, almost 13 yards a catch. Balls at the pit 48. Third first down of this drive for the Mountaineers. Draw to Walker's got a lot of room, and he's tripped up, and boy, that saved some damage. 46, Sum David Sum Sumner saved Sumner. possible six. That's, that's worth a milkshake there. That might have been that might have been out of here. That's the thing about Walker. He can break the big one. You know it's going to happen sooner or later. He's kind of veering away on this, and he's looking upfield. He can sense it. Shoelaces. Got him down. No gain on the play. Boy, that was a good one. They've made some big plays in the first half. And Walker knew he was going to be able to beat Dorsett to that corner. This is the longest drive thus far of the day for the Mountaineers. Eighth play. Same action trying to get outside. Good play by Dorsett. Back to the 50, maybe even the 49 of West Virginia. I love it when I see corners come up and play the run strong. You won't see it done any better than that. Uh, <laughs> Anthony comes up with a vengeance. He forces it inside. That's all you can ask of. A lot of corners just play the pass. Not Dorset. Let's watch it. So you got like the counter trade move. You got all that mass running up field. See, he's there. And then he does not give up that outside shoulder. He gets that cowboy tackle. Two-step recovery that he made was very quick. Yes, to get back into position. Yes, he's come on. Really playing well the past three weeks. What a resemblance to the dad, huh? <laughs> TD. Big, big third down for the Mountaineers out of the gun. Johnson fires over the middle. Benjamin pulls there. Coastal first down. Let's see where they mark it. 
It looked like Rasan went down and got just enough. They had to get to the 38-yard line of Pittsburgh. And it is a first down for the Mountaineers. What's well, a credit card move? Again, two receivers slot side. Nothing real complicated about the inside receiver coming on his slant. See, he brings him up. Ball's right there. Good hit. Good hit. Good catch. Good, good delivery by Chad took a hit. Johnston. Yes, Chad yes, took a hit on that one. Vanderpool's going to love his numbers. They keep growing like this. He's got five catches, 97 yards, and a score. Yeah, he's, he's, he's another one of those Cadillacs. This is the opening drive of the second half for the Mountaineers, 11th play right here. Handoff almost blocks, but Barber makes something happen down to the 31-yard line. Can't avoid Barber. Oh, 6'3", 245 out of Carroll City High School in Miami. Brought down by Gerald Simpson. That's a great recovery. You're right. It's not real secure with the football. You get it in, it's kind of low. Then he gets, almost gets stripped by Barn. He hands gone. He goes to hand, you know, hold on, and he's still going upfield. Current drive is impressive. Clock at 9.51 and counting. Second down and three. Ball's at the pit 32. Walk to the outside. No! Good play by Pittsburgh. Tom Horton. First one there. Wouldn't let him get outside. Oh, Barnes. This guy is so steady. Makes plays. Never out of position. Now watch him. He comes up, kind of gets to read. They got a game outside field on that corner comes up. See, so keeps the shoulder square. That is so important. There he rides on, holds on for help. Here comes the Calgary. Then you knock him off. There's that top off guy. There, there, there's John McRae. It's good football player. Lose eight yards on that play. It's back to the 39 yard line. The conversion. West Virginia, very impressive. The way. Johnston is thrown. He got to look for Vanderpool That's or correct. Abraham. Watch the square. Quarterback draw. Penalty flag on the play. It stops at about the 41. Number 43, Hayes Clark and John McCray are there for Pittsburgh. This is a good play. Yeah, just slowed up the wagon. Legal procedure. Mountaineer. Well, hey. formation on the offense stick line fourth down so Pitt watched the Don Neal and West Virginia Mountaineers go from the 20 and down to the 39 of Pittsburgh and the drive stalls he's going to send in Sauerbrunn and Sauerbrunn's going to be thinking caught in corner right here this might be tough for him. This is not enough real estate. <laughs> you got to show that. Gotta, How can he kick it under 40, 50 yards? Got to show a short game here. Denoris mostly beat the pit at his 10. Goes for the right corner. Short game. Beautiful spiral. Goes for the corner. Oh, just missed. Good gracious. What? He was in about a yard and a half too much. That was a what? nice effort by Sauerbrunn. 822 to go. Third period. We're back after these messages. Todd Sauerbrunn a little disappointed. He had a beautiful spiral that hit at the one and kicked left into the end zone. And for a touchback, he cut. He probably didn't give himself enough uh, room to work with. He really tried to cut it oh, short. by yard. Main line. Ryan, outside of Maurice Washington, had a big play. A terrific run in the first half and then had to leave with a rip problem. Yeah, he hurt himself. I, I like that on first down. You know, instead of going after the big one, a little play action faking, you just hit secondary secondary receiver on a league. That, that's nice stuff. And we're taking another look now. Now watch, usually you get a semi-run fake on this. It's a freeze your backers. A little freeze technique. Toss the ball right down to the leak. You pick up the near first down. Balls out to the 31-yard line. Billy West outside. Finds the seal. Runs good. Picks up a nice yardage to about the 38. James Thomas runs him out of bounds. Good job by John Jones, a freshman tight end. Also helped out on that. You cannot run the football if you don't have wide receivers that will chip downfield and block and a wide receiver and a tight end, rather, that will help you at the point of attack. Two plays back-to-back. -back. Do you see the lead? Washington up front. Here's John looking at that offensive line. Guys running downfield. This big uh, Reuben Brown in the background. He's always looking for some off-color to hit. 
Ruben Brown is a guy you can count on will get at least two blocks on a lot of plays, oh, particularly yeah. when he has to go downfield. Second down and four from the 37. Trying play action. Hangs it up there. Got Gels. Gels is there. Can he score? He's going to outrun a touchdown. Pittsburgh. No flags. They beat Aaron Beasley 63 yards on the play. Boy, it was lucky on that one. Ruben Brown almost got caught on it. Boy, that was as close as you can get. Ruben Smart didn't hold on. That's, oh, man. Hit the PD. Boy, Jill, it helped to have speed. You watch that. She didn't have great pressure. Boy, Curtis was in there, but he wasn't in there quick enough. That's just great explosion. Way to run to the post round. Good throw, good catch, good result. And there was no help here in the safety, so Ryan gets away with just hanging it up. What's the benefit of the five wide receivers? You, you bet. spread out the defense. And you force isolation, man-to-man -man coverage. The key is the quarterback got to find it, get rid of the ball, get it both. Merrick hurt himself his last point after. Knocks it through, doesn't do any jumping up and down. Counts for the extra point. And ladies and gentlemen, we have got a ball game. Oh, yeah. Eight minutes to go, third quarter. It's West Virginia 33, Pittsburgh 26. Panthers on a comeback after being down 31-6. Back to Pitt Stadium after these words from our local stations. Dietrich gels another long distance connection, this time 63 yards, and it's 33-26. And John Ryan, he's on fire. He Nine really is. For his Boy. last 10, 10 of 14 on the numbers on the day. The thing about John is that he just needs more reps. He really does, because the more he plays, the better he plays. You know, he and I, I think that uh, Coach Majors and the staff are going to have to make some decisions. Indeed. And look at this. Oh, oh, that's it. a beauty. They got it. Martin with a beautiful onside kick. Catch, catches West Virginia napping. Johnny Majors, the gambler, going for it. John Nell says, what the hey? Todd Martin kicked it and recovered it. Nicely done. And you know they mentioned it. They're just too good of a staff not to mention it. But that's a superb execution on the kick. And then those guys up front at R1, R2, they get down and, and go after Chip. Now watch this. You see the approach. The key is that he doesn't give it away that it's an onside kick. He has a great approach. Then he comes in and watch the guys. Watch those blue shirts. See the front line people, they're chipping on you. See, getting those blocks. You knock the off-colored jerseys off, and you allow your chance, team a chance for recovery. That is picture perfect, Dave Sam. Return team turned its back, and Barton went right up their back. Well, his approach, his approach was so he was authentic. From the 50, first and 10, Ryan High. Home run ball again. Going for Jones, triple coverage. Beasley looks like he's picked it off. Yep, he gave it back. Beasley with his second pick of the afternoon. Hung it up too high, but defensively Pitt will have decent position, but a good comeback by Aaron Beasley. Seventh yeah. interception by Beasley this season. Well, that's what happens when you go for broke. You know, you get the momentum going, and, uh, you know, I don't mind it, but I like to pound away. He shot with this one. He gets it up, too much duck on it, and again, the formation didn't take it didn't allow him to have the one-on-one -on -one situation he was looking for. See, there's more white shirts there than blue shirts. See, that's a secondary hungry for football. That was like a bone in the junkyard there, baby. I mean, they went after him. Fido has an eagle in about two weeks. Got a game here. 33 26 Pitt fans getting into it. Johnson, good luck in faith. He's going to hang one high. He's got Abraham down the middle. Over and throws him at the 45. <laughs> Boy, it's my good hoop now. This is like hoops. I dunk on you, you come back and dunk on me, baby. We're going up and down the court. Oh, yeah. I like this. Ken Carts and Johnny Major said, hey, we got to open it up. Talk about playing in the backyard. This really is like it. You're being in the backyard. Sideline warning. Court. The next warning is a penalty. Sideline warning, so too many folks. On the sidelines, a lot of recruits, a lot of photogs. Yeah, it's a good sign. Good sign for Pitt. They have players still in the game. Up, you know, people are excited now. I think that was more for the photogs, et cetera, than the players, to be honest. Go back to John Jones in the second quarter on a special team play. 
you know, where, where they trapped West Virginia, the kid was just going nuts. He went to a convulsion, you know, and him throwing and showing that enthusiasm. That's what's keeping Pitt in this football game. Mountaineers defending Miggy's champions. 7-0 in the conference last year. 11-1 overall. Second down and 10 from the 9. It's 33-26. West Virginia, 7.44 to go in the third. Nice play by Walker to run through the Chavis tackle before and Sumner comes up to finish Walker. him off. One of the better inside runs. I mean, it's tough. Here, Stingy. Davis comes up, he was actually trying to tackle the football. What you better know about number 58 is that you come inside those tackles, you got to deal with it. Is that a ticket? Some guys find a way to conveniently trip and stumble sometimes. <laughs> Not Jason Davis, he would be there. 34 from the 15. Play action for Johnston. The pressure is going down. The sack by Gerald Simpson. Hit within a touchdown is fired up in the crowd of 38,293. The Pitt fans are back in the game. There's so many of them. You talk about a surge. Uh, they're just coming after him. I mean, you, you forget that play fake. See, that didn't do anything. Because they would fade up their mind and they were going deep. And you got good results on that. Boy, Simpson, he has been very active. Got the start today, and now we know why. Starbrand from about three yards deep. Mostly at the 40. Straight up the gut. Nice return to the West Virginia 46, a 48-yard punt. Return of 15 yards. So the pit offense with the chance to at least tie on this possession. 6-19 to go. Third quarter. Got a good one in the backyard brawl. We'll be back to Pitt Stadium after these messages. Back here at Pitt Stadium, Dave Sims and Rick Doc Walker and a couple of teams, Doc, that not exactly lighting it up coming into the season. West Virginia seventh in total offense, only ahead of Temple. And Pitt sixth in total offense. Both teams really putting it up and getting up and down the field here. Well, they've had some problems, but yet, when you look at it, they've been in some football games and could have had more wins than the records indicated. It's the tradition. It really goes back to that. I mean, you will find two prouder coaches, Johnny Major, Don Neal. These guys know how to coach great talent. They know how to rebuild programs. And now they're in a game that really is up for grabs, and you're fighting for recruiting rights, bragging rights, and all kind of stuff. Look at that. Remarkable. Did you make a West Virginia? Good numbers for both clubs, well over their averages coming into this game. Ryan Ryan, his last pass was picked off. Keep it simple. Oh, man, that's a collision. Washington ran head on into Matt Tafoni, number three. Perkins was there also. Matt well, Tafoni, he got his he got his energy back after that long 100-yard return on the two-point conversion. I think both of them looked like they were saluting each other. Hey, man, nice pop. I mean, not a heck of a lot you can say there. You come in face-to-face, yeah. -face, boom! Yeah, they're good. <laughs> Boy, you look at Curtis and the phony Perkins, uh, Thomas, Brown and Perkins, Bucky Wright. Their front seven has been very active. Lost the yard on the play. Lost that eye for Pitt. Showing blitz to come the Mountaineers on the blitz to Phony. Oh, almost picked off by Canute Curtis. He got a piece. He knocked it down. It was a screen intended for Washington. If they win this football game, if Canute Curtis doesn't get defensive player of the game, then I well, want to know who would uh, because he has been there the entire day. Here to Phony on the pressure. Look at this. Oh, what an nice. athletic move. He gets up with the offhand. Almost makes the, the grab on this. It's keeper. Curtis has been really getting it done. Total offense numbers, West Virginia, 296, the average 342, hitting 335, the average 357. It's been that kind of an afternoon, folks. Third and 11 from the West Virginia 46, five receiver look. West Virginia rushes four, Ryan underneath. Anderson let it get to his pads again. Yeah. He's a chest catcher, and he's dropped three balls today. He's caught two. But has, it has really hurt Pittsburgh this afternoon. Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, Beasley had a good break on the football, but you got to put those hands out. And if you got to put those hands, not they got to move you on defense. Here we watch. Just watch the set. Pretty good. Telegraph just a little bit. Put a little ice on this one. A little and ice is there. there. Good hands, though. Good hands, Bob Beasley. He gets in. 
but if a receiver will come back and extend his hands, he has a chance to make the reception. May have been shorter the first down, but at least you get a chance. That's right. Nate Cochran, who's had a good day, 47-5. Number three in the Big East in punting, 13th nationally. Short, they want the fake. Kasparola to Cochran. No. Now that was gutsy. Now that was a gutsy move. Boy, Steve Hunt Dunlap's defense for West Virginia came in. That time they got really excited about stopping them. Now Johnny's trying to figure out, now, wait a minute, now that's not the way we worked on that thing in practice. What happened? There's a toss. Pretty good idea, but you don't get you don't get the perimeter block. So you're outnumbered. You're four on one. That's just not gonna work. That won't help. You. And we see it again. Pretty good hands. Nope. Too many good football players on the field. See, Chris Dunlap had too many of the starters on defense out there. Yeah, if you got me once, that's going to get me twice. That's it. Mountaineers from Rome at 47. Stand up the gut. Now we're into that sequence with Don Nealon talked about before the game. I look for both teams to run the ball. I mean, because Mountaineers yeah. are showing, well, you know, setting up that run more. Majors made the call, but he did it because he has confidence in his defense. You know, they've answered the call so far in this football game. But you better believe that uh, <laughs> Coach Dressback was thinking, man, if it didn't work, we got to get in and stop him. And that's exactly what's up. Pick up of a yard on that play. Johnson's switching the play. Play clock at nine. And he called yep. back, got him right there. Banjo, oh, he dropped it at the 22-yard line. Doc Walker all over that. Should have been a big play. Dorsett strutting, but it wasn't so much his play. It was the fact that Vanderpool dropped it. Well, what happens when the corner has his back to the quarterback? He can sense that. He showed that they were locked up in man. So he gives you the signal. Then you get the slant. See, there he's open. But see, Dorsett closes. He closes and looks back for the football. That's a pretty good play. That's a pretty good play, yeah, he's but the ball catch. is there. Vanderpool. That's right, you're He'll right, tell absolutely you. right. Tell you. Rashawn will make that catch nine times out of ten, but doubt. that's one that where you got to give good closing speed by Anthony. Vanderpool smoking on that one. From the gun, third down, long. Slant way too high for minifield. And Johnston back, there isn't that much of a crown on this field. You know a lot of fields, that's a big... You know, you've, been that, the, you've been to Norman, Oklahoma then. Yeah, buddy. See that crowd of, uh, yeah. I mean, you just Sooner. throw an out pattern, you got to throw it 40 yards yeah. to get it six Absolutely. yards up the field. There's not much of a crown here, as we sh as the guys show you from down along the field. You talk about a guts performance on defense. Being put in a bad position with a fake that didn't fake anybody out. This is quite a quite a pat on the back for the Panther defense. West Virginia fake one here. Stand by. Let's no, you see. don't fake with a guy like that, can you? Gorgeous spiral again. Going for the corner. High bounce. He's just, you know, he's going for that, like, inside the one. They are going to. Okay, there it is. It's, there it is. The blues got me for a second. That red is irate. 51 yards. He would have preferred a 48. And you got to get another two. punter for that. He's too good for that. Back after these messages to Pitt Stadium. Tom Tumulty back in civvies now, done for the day after the sprained left knee. We'll try to get you an update on when and if they expect him back throughout the uh, remainder of the season. The Panthers down 33-26, 424 to go in the third. Take over after the 51-yard punt by Todd Sauerbrunn. It looks like some movement on the right side of the pit offensive line. Full start, simulating the start of a play on the offense. Tony Orlandini, number 77. I think he got cut. Tony's another one of those freshmen that uh, playing. They, they, they like him a lot. How could you not? The kid's 6'5", he's 275 pounds. It, it just takes a freshman. lot of endurance. Yeah, Matt Bloom has been playing. Uh, the senior started. It, you need to rotate the offensive line. But we see that a lot on defense now. The only way you can counter it is to uh, rotate on offense. From the 15. Ryan looking, got gels. Good pop by Van Washington. Doesn't wrap him up. Oh, boy. Finishing blow by 97, Stephen Perkins. And Perkins is the one that's injured. Yeah, he may have caught a, caught a knee in the chest on this one. See if we can take another look. Here, Ryan, the quarterback. 
See, once again, he's going to look right. One thing about John, he's going to look. Good throw. Nice on it. Nice action. And then you see, that was a good hit by Washington, but he doesn't lock up. He can't afford it. It's like ping ball going around there, guys. That boy took a knee right in the chest. Is that Perkins? Yeah. yeah. That's Perkins, it could have been a knee-to-knee -knee thing, too. He went down. Steve Perkins. If you're going to recruit in college football, you better get your act down to Florida. Well, you look at the 255 pounds by some standards is not that big in the NFL, but when you look at guys, uh, one comes in mind, the, the Dallas Cowboys, and what they've been able to do, and the 49ers started with that elephant defense. Uh, when Charles you get, Haley. get a guy like Charles Haley, who's about 250 pounds, you know, but he can rush the passer, and he's active, and he puts you in a situation that's hard to block. Murder. Absolute murder. Look at this. What a game. 22-20 Auburn in Florida. How about this? K-State, give it to the Wildcats. Nebraska defense is really playing well. K-State, mm -hmm. Chad Mayer Company can move it. Duke lost its lead. No, they're not happy now. Oh, and Fandy pulling away from Georgia. That's a big one there. Virginia Tech holding up the Big East banner. I'm sorry, Virginia. That's Virginia trailing in the ACC. Well, you want to start a war? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> is that the truth? Oh, boy. Both sides would be mad. And now a whistle. More movement. That's twice now. See, John you know, Jones. You know what Coach uh, Kent Carter's thinking now? I've got two of my puppies in. Offense. You know, or Orlandini first, my freshman. Then I've got John Jones, a freshman. Ah. Rutgers leading. Pretty much the same story last year when we were at uh, Chestnut Hill, Mass. In that game, East Carolina hanging tough. Ball back to the 17-yard line. Ryan gonna throw it. Got the tight end Jones, first down, pick. Fights his way to the 38-yard line. Boy, talk to Kenny Carter. He cannot say enough about this kid, John Jones. They love him. Out of Cleveland, 6'4", 230, just needs to mature because he's a big target. He's yeah, got the hands, he's got the speed. He has blocked well today, uh, and he has really just come on. And now this is what you, he, you know he can do for you. Boy, that was close there. Woo, confidence, too, after he was flagged for the penalty in the prior play. Yeah. He come back to a nice pickup. Up to the 37-yard line again at 20. It's going to be a lot of football here at Pitt. Three ten and counting. Third quarter, and they'll stop that play. Matt Tafoni looked like he might have uh, encroached. Number three for West Virginia. Al Hines has had a lot of sorting out to do. Too much time. Ah, it's the hit. ugliest penalty in, in football. Wow. It's one thing to jump in, but to sit in that box too long talking. It's to depend on the line playing. That's, that's a sin. It's a lay of game against Pitt. Back to the 32 now. First and 15. Ryan, no throw. Home run. Deep ball. It's hanging up there for Gels. Beasley almost had another pick. He's got two today. Yeah, good play by Gels. Gels has got two long passes for touchdowns. Beasley has two picks and one for return for touchdown. Good reaction, though, by the wide receiver to turn the tables and play defense and knock that ball away from him. Watch a little play action. Not much to it. So you want a better play fake. Then you're going after this. Now this is anybody's ball. This is the beauty about it. The great athletes will go up and make plays. And see Beasley think, oh, I got another one. Not to be. Don't do play. I got to see a comeback. They need a comeback in their offense right now. Too much deep stuff. Now you want to bring them back down the pipe. Shells and Davis to the bottom of your screen. Chad has to to the top. <laughs> James Thomas sits on him, number 41 for West Virginia, with help from Van Washington, number one. Not a popular call. Actually, the penalty flag is the one that has the Boo Birds going here at Pitt Stadium. That's ridiculous. 
holding offense. A 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Second down. <laughs> Fourth flag of this series for the Pitt Panthers. And you're in a terrible field position right now. I mean, you're gambling. Mm -hmm. you got to get out of there. And you're in the ball game. You're only down by seven. Yeah, your defense is playing his guts out. you got to get those guys in to make a play on offense. That's at the 19-yard line. Second and 28. Take the draw. Deep middle ball. A lot of air for Askew. Askew is there. Almost had it. And an almost an interception, too, for West Virginia. Boy, that was a, that was a great effort. Sure was. <laughs> David Mayfield pounding the turf. Thought he should have had it. Boy, Chad comes up. Use that six-foot-four frame of his. And you, you'd like to see this. And they see at this point now, usually the receiver has an advantage. He goes up, gets a good spring. The ball is there. See, he has it. See, he can make that play. That's a play he can make. Really was. Good camera work, too. Guys are shooting the, shooting the eyes out of this one. Indeed. Three-man front by West Virginia. So, you know, you've got an addition almost a nickel look in the secondary, so they expect pass. Make the draw again. Ryan lets her rip. That's a free ball. Picked off. Interception. West Virginia Aaron Beasley is third of the game. And John, see, they were looking for a flag on that, you know, and that's might be the equivalent of a punt on this one, but you, you just don't have the number combination working for you. West Virginia has countered now. They're only rushing three guys. They get an additional help in the secondary. You know, pretty decent, well, not too much of a rush at all. Ball goes right to the front. Watch the numbers. See, the number game doesn't work. One on three. Just doesn't get you there. That is very difficult. See, right at the end of this, watch this at the end. Ryan gets hit. I don't know how much that had to do with it, but I'll tell you this. When you got a one-on-three, and you be the judge, one-on-three, there's a bump. That's what Johnny Majors is hot about, a little bump, but I think he's going for the football. Mountaineers take over. Around 37. Johnson's going to go up top. Under pressure. Going to go down. Back at the 27. Tom Barton. Tom Bart came in with two and a half sacks. Yeah, it's right there. He's fanned the defense. He's choked up. They are choked up, man, and they're coming after you. Play action at this point. Forget it. You're not running well on us anyway at this point. That's what they're thinking. So they're coming after you. Pinning the ears back to get to the quarterback. And Chad Johnson's going to have to step in and make a big play. Really does. West Virginia's a little bit out of sync because they're not able to beat your walker. You know, to put you back on your heel. They like to play smash mouth football. Make the change a little bit. Yeah, they were up 31-6 at one point, and they had everything and more going for them. That was in the second quarter. It's a ball game now, 33-26. West Virginia over Pitt. Quick luck. And gets back close to the original line of scrimmage. Completing to Van Der Poel at 36. That's what they've got to do. So he can rip that out. out. And that's what West Virginia can start you know, holding the ball, moving the chains on you, and then they'll get their big play. Got to be a beauty down at the Swamp in Gainesville. I think it's in the empty seats now. No, not even close. <laughs> Carolina, low-scoring game at South Bend. But Purdue's unbeaten in the Big Ten. Yeah. <laughs> it's surprising, I'll tell you what. Baylor over AM. Surprise when you're in the business and get you the best guy. Up and go. He fell down. The intended receiver was Vanterpool being covered by Denoris Mosley. He fell down at the pit 48. So the Panthers defense gets it done again. Boy, you know Chavis, he leads that defense. Take a look at him on that. He's kind of inching up to the line of scrimmage. So he's going to bring it. See that, that little pressure. You never know how much it helps or doesn't, but you know you got to have it. Sauerbrunn to punt again. Not too much pressure. Bangs this pretty good. Mosley at the 20. Ooh, good coverage. Empty flags all over. That's a killer. That is a killer. Penalty flags plus a loose all ball. Down. Mountaineers say they have it, but I yep. think that's the team. Well, let's good. wait. Let's wait and see, but there's one thing for sure. There is penalty flag on the play. A 45-yard punt and a turn of six yards. 
The lead offense is dead at this point. And they give the ball, looks like, to, to the Mountaineers. Given the reaction by Don Nillen and company. Yeah, this could boil down to special team. Both offenses right now, both, both dead. This is a defensive battle. Illegal block in the back. That's the decline. There's a change of uh, there's a change of possession on the fumble. First down. And we talked a little bit about what he takes to turn a game around. Turnovers. Pretty good catch. And see, so you start to turn. Now watch what strip. See, there's the strip. Ball right on the hand. See, I like oh, yeah. that. That's intentional. You go and you strip that bad boy out, and then you converge on it. Boy, that's smart. That's just smart football. Scott Bailey, number 64. Yeah. He smart recovered, football. and Alizé Longino was right there to help break it free. From the 23, the Mountaineers up by 7. There's nothing there to bounce outside for. Good boy, play by the good. mid defense. That's good. Sumner. Boy, Sumner again. That's good play. And he saved it once again. Walker's a little frustrated. Not able to get his, his patented bounce. Now, last week you saw the Syracuse Club be able to get to the corners. They did a great job attacking with the option. Well, they run the option. <laughs> and and they, they do they a heck of a job. They do so much, man. Yeah. And they are. Yeah, Mason was just on top of his game. The defense coming up a lot better this afternoon, bringing the blitz. Got a man down in the corner, Van at the goal line. A little bit wide, covered by Sumner. That was the final play of the third quarter, 45 minutes complete. 33-26 West Virginia on top of Pittsburgh. We'll be back with fourth quarter action after these words from our local stations. Enjoying a beautiful day here in Pitt State. Dave Sims and Rick Doc Walker, great to have you with us on the Big East Football Television Network. All colors starting to break through here in Pittsburgh. It's just lovely. Look at the kind of defense that Pitt Panthers have played without Tom Tumulty. You know, their leader who is out uh, with sprained left knee. So this has just been a terrific effort on both sides of the ball, really. Both defensive coordinators ought to be proud of the effort. And offensively, kids have hung in. I mean, it's been good defense that it has negate, negated some big plays. Just one touchdown, one score in the third quarter. That a 63-yard pass from Ryan to Gels to get Pittsburgh to a fan seven. Pitt showing blitz, the draw, not there. Maybe a yard. Can't Roy Barber, straight up the gut. Out of selling. <laughs> I like it. I love it, man, when you get to a point where your, your adrenaline is flowing and you're pumped up and you're, you're getting off blocks and you got your buddies flying in to make hits and it's just tough to run the football. Ryan Bauman, this is a money kick here. Sure is. 39-yard field goal attempt. It's four for six from this range. What? Can he pick it up and go? Let's see. He got the bounce. What a bounce. That's Tom Barr. did it for him plus the block and Don Nillen has think, seen a 31-6 uh, lead right down the tubes Merrick for the tie UT has not been automatic penalty flag too much time on kick oh boy and he missed the kick too that's just not been automatic operation so we've got Play of the game. 
offense. They've had two blocked field goals returned for touchdowns. Harold Kidd for West Virginia to make it 10-0, and Bornick 53 yards to bring the Pitt Panthers to within one point. And Merrick, who's generally automatic, but only missed one coming in, has been a shaky kicker today. Boy, he took a bad exchange. He got that one through. We're tied at 33. You might not have thought this could happen when it was 31-6 Mountaineers, but that's where we are. Early fourth quarter, back at Pitt Stadium after these messages. They're roofing it up for good reason. Pitt Panthers have come back to tie it at 33 because Tom Bart scored from 53 yards out. It happened because <laughs> Jan Askew, Boy, he got up. four oh, man. the kick. Talk about a vertical jump. He could have been in Midnight Madness last night. What a sky. Look at Bart, man. He's chugging along. Boy, that's good stuff. Now let's watch this. This snap was, boy, what, those are hands. Those are hands. Good operation. Boy, Ralph, watch, Willard, watch. The, Ralph Willard, the new Pitt football co basketball coach, may say, hey, can't ask you. My man. I got to bring him out. I got to at least give him a look. That's it. Martin to kick off. Hits it high and deep. Banter pull at the three. Nowhere to go. Down at the 19. Fired up hit. Special team. And it's a really good hitting. John Jenkins, number 15, was in on the stop. The initial stop made by number 53, George Morey. Pittsburgh. <laughs> the Pitt that guy a job. The Pitt yell leaders say, aren't you glad you stayed? Tell you what, get on the phone and call somebody because we got 14 more minutes to go. For homecoming, you just can't ask for anything else. It's just nice. Pitt's defense has been outstanding. They shut out West Virginia in the third quarter after giving up 17 and 16 in the first half. Mountaineers going to throw it. Johnston looking for finding Vanterpool. Nicely done, but now it's broken up. Mostly on his back, breaks it up at the 35. Yeah, nice trip. Boy, isn't it amazing what confidence can do for it? This is the same club that last week against the Syracuse Orange when would rip the part. I mean, they were beating in every facet of the game. Gave up 600 back, yards. Yeah, look at that, 600 yards. Watch this. See, that's a good catch. That's a good strip. Johnston on a down right now, one for his last seven passes. He's still dangerous. You know he's got it in him. That's the thing about it, boy. You underestimate this kid. He's in trouble. He's in the pressure. Gets out of the way. Running for his life and gets out of bounds. Jared Miller had him and went too low. Yeah, Number boy. 55, he had him. Jared would like to get that one back. He'd Woo. like to get that one back. You don't get, it's so hard to get there. When you get there, you got to finish. Got to finish. Jared Miller in for Tom Barnt. Got to still be winded right after 53 yards on that be back. blocked return. Turnover scored 4-1 to one, Pittsburgh. Look at how time of possession has evened out. Mm -hmm. Total yard pit with the edge there, 362. Both teams down in terms of rushing the football. This is their bread and butter. And I think the team that can get back to that will win this football game. Third and nine. West Virginia more success on third down from the gun. And a whistle beforehand. They had the blitz on McCray. This is too much way time. Inside. Play the game. Yeah, third time we've seen that. Why that. do you have a situation like this in a 33 all game? fourth quarter, Pitts had it twice, now West Virginia once. Why the difficult? Well, one thing, you don't want to rush into a mistake, but two, is just bad huddle management. You got to get those plays in, rip them out. All you need is one guy to say, you know, uh, hey, Chad, what, what, what's it on? That's all you need. One thing, you know, in the, in the huddle. Very important. We don't talk enough about what goes on in the huddle. And now you got to have a really defined leader. Pitt defense can tee off now. You see Jones, number 67. Here he comes. Underneath. Good ball. Nicely done. Pitt's defense is held again. Oh, look at Jason. Jason again. Oh, the excitement building for Pittsburgh. Now you don't even like defensive guys, but I'll tell you this. The linebacker defense and tackle play that I've seen in this league has really been impressive. Now watch it. See, that's kind of like delayed dog. You get in and get that paw up. See, 
Oh, every little thing you can do. Elevation, you know, scratching, clawing. Good defensive football. Davis with the knockdown. Sauerbrunn hit this one. Mostly back to the point. Didn't have any help, but he gets it into West Virginia territory to about the 47. Pitt Panthers have a chance to take the lead. 13.40 to go. Fourth quarter, we're tied at 33. We're back after these words from our local stations. After the Mountaineers were up 31 to 6. College football, baby. Got to love it. Hit in good field position at the Mountaineer 47. On count straight up the middle. Chad Dukes. Perkins says, it's not going to happen. Stephen Perkins, 97. James Thomas, number 41, stopped Chad Dukes. Yeah, that's the thing about both teams. That they just don't give up a lot between the tackles. Yeah, yeah, Dick Vermeil back at UCLA always credit the fact that we're going to be tough between the center guard tackle and defensively linebackers nose tackle. That's the core of your football team. Second and ten. Ryan on the out. Up got closing. Great play. Beasley. Boy, I saw him coming. Great close. He had about a six-step close and just shut yeah. that play down. The kid doesn't play like a sophomore. But then again, uh, the one thing about it is that you cannot telegraph a pass. I mean, you just can't do it. I don't care who you are, how strong your arm is. you got to give your receiver a shot. Tried to go wide side of the field the first time Ryan came into the game. His first pass, first play, and it was picked by Beasley in return for a touchdown. Well, Beasley's a keeper. He really is. We go with the five-receiver look. Jones in the slot, the tight end, the bottom of your screen. Flanker screen, Davis. Oh, I like 45, that. 40, block down the sideline, first down and more. Billy Davis drilled at about the 23-yard line by Aaron Beasley, but a first down for Pittsburgh. We talked a little bit about the a la Miami Hurricane Pass offense, man. Just get the ball in the hands of talented people. It doesn't have to always be a 60-yard pass. Little hitch, little move, stutter, go. And so you get a block come up out right there, you get some help from your friends downfield, and you move into chains. Dietrich Jones with a good block. The ball at the 23 yard line. Davis Fort catches 80 yards. High game at 33. They run the fullback up the middle. Just to show it to him, just to show that they can run it. Maurice Washington broke a. Just a simple dive up the middle. He had one, but West Virginia is determined to never let that happen again. Yeah, 34 yards on the second pit possession for Washington. Yeah, they stopped that. Well, the key is that JT Thomas. I mean, this guy, both middle linebackers, great linebacker play today, good tackle play. I mean, you can't play good defense without good tackle. And both clubs have got really good production at those positions. Pitt was down 31-6. They're now tied at 33. Ball at the 22. Drop the ball. They play. It goes hit, ball. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at this. Thomas picks it up. West Virginia takes over. That's good defense. You take advantage of things. Yes, yeah, a bobble snap, but you bobble snaps because you're thinking about making blocks and getting to other people. Billy West is hurt, too. Trying to make the play, and here's the snap. Ryan pulled out too quickly. Yeah, yeah. Never had it, then you got to get on it. You know, now it's just there, and boy, boy, boy. The hungry dog will get it first. Mountaineer fans got to feel a lot better about that. Pitt was going in with an opportunity to take the lead, and Billy West is okay. Well, you know, it's no sin. Uh, to play a good football team and have a turnover, but when you lose a field goal opportunity, a chance to win, man, I mean, it's, that's ridiculous. I Pittsburgh mean, the fact that they're tied up is amazing. It's unbelievable. And that's why Coach Don Neely, he can't afford to leave here with those kinds of guys. And how about Pitt coming into the game was plus one in giveaway takeaway? Not indicative of their record. Not at all. Third in the conference in giveaway takeaway. 
West Virginia from its own 27. Got to get outside. Walker, nowhere to go. This pit defense is really playing well. David Sumner comes up with the stop. When we're watching this on both sides, I, I tell you what, there's got to be a loser in this, but Coach Dunlap, I mean, he's got to be proud of what's going on right now. As we watch Walker again, this is what West Virginia wants to do. They want to run football, but there's just no happenings. No happenings whatsoever. I tell you what, those dress backs got these guys. They charge up. I don't know what Chuck said to him at halftime, but whatever he said, I hope it he works. takes it. Yep. They want to market it, too. Johnston over the middle, overthrows Abraham. He's had about five to six balls where he's been, everything's been good except it's been too high. Yeah, it's been a little high, but uh, that time, uh, George Mosley was in good position. That'll force you to extend the ball a little bit. I still believe an interception is going to turn, turn the course of this game. Yep. Sooner or later, on the other side, an INT, because they they're putting it up. Amazing turnover story. Pitts turned it over five times. And they came in, as I said, plus one behind Temple and West Virginia, which were plus five. Johnson, play fake, middle. Vanderbilt, nice catch. Big tie play. First down, Mountaineers at the 39, covered by Sumner. That's been a great battle all afternoon. Well, I thought at one point maybe and get to Purnell, the tight end, help him out on the third down play, go back to that patented slot move, and you got it up in the end. They got it out in the end, rather, and that's a money catch. That's a money catch. 15-yard pickup on the day. Fancher pulls digits. Impressive. Sean's numbers are nice. Fullback. Oh, oh man, man. chop a crank. <laughs> Just forget it. <laughs> you got to do it, but both sides, you know. That's a sacrifice. Oh, You're the fullback. Oh, man, you're calling me again? Now they're they really, really, really slight on the offensive line, man. They're this a load. Really are. Well, that's good. This is really nice. See those blue shirts? See that they're lower? The pads are lower. And Johnny Major says it all the time. Low man wins. It's mm -hmm. a good indication. 10-10 and counting, 33 all. Pitt and West Virginia. <laughs> Quick out, banter pull, nicely done. Close, just shy of a first down at the 49. Class move by Vanterpool. Yeah, he's short, but he needs to get to the marker. That's the receiver's yep. responsibility. Next week, we could be in one of three places, West Virginia, B.C., or Virginia Tech. Check your local listings. Noon time start. Look forward to catching you then. I'll tell you what, Mountaineer, they're playing a little defense. Hurricanes coming off some rest. That's right. Woo! Could be fun. Woo-hoo! Third and real short. Johnston takes it himself. Not without Mike Halepin having a stand to play 94. With Tyler Young also there, number 92. Followed Jay Brooks to get the first down. Johnny Majors. The onside kick was a beauty earlier. They tried to fake punt. That didn't work, but his club, as we talk about, they don't quit. Not in his vocabulary, and his club down, 31-6, comes back to tie at 33. Well, he promised us that he'd open it up. Well, he's done more than open it up. He's ripped it apart. As we talk about, they don't quit. Not in his vocabulary, and his club down, 31-6, comes back to tie at 33. Well, he promised us that he'd open it up. Well, he's done more than open it up. He's ripped it apart. It's a great offense, too. From this man, Chad Johnson, Gotta ball go. for a home run ball. Banter pulled, door set, then he flags, no. Uncatchable, good coverage, outstanding coverage, in fact, by Anthony <laughs> Dorsett on an explosive Rassan Banter pull. Anthony is growing up in a hurry. He really is. Not easy to follow your father's footsteps. You know, Heisman Trophy winner, great NFL Hall of Famer. His kid's on defense, and he, every week he's getting better. He's physical. You know, he's got all the size and the tools to do some outstanding things here at Pitt. Anthony Dorsett, 5'11", 190. Junior out of Alec by way of Pierce, Texas. 
Second and ten right at midfield. Johnson switching up, hit on the blitz. Here they come, down he goes. Yes, Tyler who? Young with the sack, his third of the season. Yes, who? So, Tyler's gone a long way from playing on the offensive line at Notre Dame. You know what I mean? Making a move, not only from schools, but from positions. And showing you right here, man, that he's nasty enough to get in there and get the job done. Ball back to the West Virginia 42-yard line. That's a big loss. Eight yards on that one. Ball at the West Virginia 42. Clock at 8.35 and counting. 33 all our score. Blitz from the outside. Deep sideline ball. Abraham, he stopped. If he kept running, he would have been there. I think he was trying to lure the defensive back to sleep. But I almost thought that was a great play. Let's see if we can get Paul to show us that again. I mean, this was, what a nice look on this. Shotgun formation. Here we watch to see a little look off, and he gets it up pretty quick. And you watch at the end, and I thought he almost lured or oh, set to sleep on that. To, trying to you know, suck a little phony acceleration. It. Right. And you know what I mean? You get the defensive back to stop. Boy, that was clear. That was close. Got to get some uh, push, too. Get an interference call. Ninth punt by Sauerman. Good snap. Oh, he got it! Oh, Billy Davis, look at this! Can you believe this? To the 20-yard line. The recovery by number 24, Thad Culpepper. Billy Davis, number 49 with the block. Panthers are possessed. He's oh, what a game. Don Neal doesn't game, know what hit him. You did game. Oh, yeah. Before you can get it out of your mouth, I mean, the operation is still good. He's going to it right off the foot. There it is, right there. Oh, yeah, the collision, the scoop. Boy, he scores on that. Boy, he scores on this place for nuts. All of the 21 yard line. This has been a wild one. Yeah. Call somebody, turn him to join in. He's still got 8, 824 to go. They got a long way, though. This is no gimme. We've seen that. Both defenses have been outstanding here in the second half. Ryan, the pitch, Billy West to the corner. Check that. That's Dietrich Jones. And he gets to about the 17. Yeah, Billy was out on that play. They're trying to get some, some uh, speed. Jones, this is the fourth time today they've had him in the eye back formation. Jones, two long passes. Had a good block on a play in the previous possession and a couple of decent runs. They got it to him. They fumbled it. They've had, they botched a couple of snaps trying to get it to him, but he's had a good game. It's going to be a Jones. fight to figure out who's clear of the game. And this I'm telling you. Second down, six. 33 all the score. 8-15 left to go in the ball game. Ryan does not get it to his wide open tight end, Del Graves. He Boy, had hurt him. you. That hurt you. Had him. Yeah, he's talking about the angle. You do want your tight end to get a little flat. You always want to show at least part of the numbers as possible so your quarterback is not an easy throw. Here's we'll take another look. So you get back. He's kind of throwing it out the flat where he thinks he is, not where he was. You can't afford to waste a play when you're down in the red area. You're sure trying to afford to win. Third and six. On count, play clock winding down. It's at three. They get it off. And they run off tackle and try to set up the field goal attempt by David Merrick. <laughs> well, who has a long of 54. Billy West with the carry. James Thomas with the stop. Boy, you're talking about blown an opportunity. I mean, let's face it, West Virginia had a lot to do with it. But that little shot to the tight end, that's an easy throw sure was. to Seagrave. See, you move the chains, you want to threaten the score. I don't know if three points will beat the Mountaineers. I hear it. This attempt, 32 yards for David Merrick, who's four for five in this range on the season. The hold by Ryan. Locked again. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love this game. I love this. This is Emmanuel. Charles Emmanuel down the sideline. Oh, man. Keith Morris blocked it. Oh. Either this is sloppy play or some of the great athletic plays of all time. Oh, man. As we focus in again. Pretty decent snap. The kick is there right off the toe once again. Merrick's got to be thinking, man, I may have to start working out. I'm going to kick here. We had a blocked punt. 
now a blocked field goal in successive possession. Still tied at 33, back after these messages. We've seen enough for about three seasons today when it comes to weird plays, blocked punts, blocked field goals, attempts. It's been amazing. All, right, all I can see is that Dave Merrick told us he didn't like to run. He better start working out because he got to play some defense. Just some superb athletic plays on both sides of special teams. And return by Emmanuel. So Mountaineers take over their own 42. Not going to be able to run. We certainly established that theme. And T.D. Moody with a good stick. Uh, Moody's played some good ball. And that, that John McCray, he is just a good. How about that? that? Oh, Everything's that. all even. How oh, often do you see that? I tell you, you have to search back a long, long way to find a deal like that. No gain on that play. It's second and ten. It sure is. A lot of people have touched the ball today. Interceptions, block punts, block field goals, long pass plays. Got an out pattern. Vanderpool is. Oh, he dropped it. He had it at the 36. He knew he was going to get hit. He figured he had a chance to stop and maybe turn it back, but he did. He didn't do. I don't do want to catch it first. He's thinking about, you know, at least getting one foot in or not. Let's take another look. Ball over the shoulders, makes the extension. Ball is there. Oh. That's a catch and go. Then you go, oh, yeah. No, that's just a drop. That's a drop. He's a playmaker. But, boy, it doesn't count unless you make him. Oh. Let's <laughs> say, come on. We need you. You're the man. We need you. That could have been worth an extra hamburger doing chow line, man. We need that catch. Third and 10 for the Mountaineers. We're tied at 33. 6 and 40 to go. Let's go. See ya. Oh, pit defense. I'm telling you. On fire. Chavis. The Frey. They've been marvelous. Those two guys, man, they're back the players of the game honors that Pitt wins this. You always want to play linebacker. How about being Chavis right now? That's another dog. They have done this now four or five times. Third down, they get an opportunity to come in. They break the backer. They get right in his vision because Chad, again, wants to look downfield. That's good defense. Good hustle. Enthusiasm on both sides. The fourth sack by Pitt. They came in with ten and a half on the year. Sal. Oh, Salvin. Oh, baby. Back to the eight. Mostly a valiant effort. Outmanned about, oh, about eight to one. Boy, big that play. punt, 57 yards. A return of 10. Killer. Todd Sauerbrand, Robo Punter. 33 all the score. We're back to Pitt Stadium after these messages. Tell you what, great family entertainment this afternoon. 33 all, 5.55 to go in the fourth quarter. Dave Sims and Doc Walker crew with you. And it's been some kind of game. You know how many possessions this is for Pitt? This is Eric. number 17. Working Eric today strong. They're closing down the Barreto, getting it done. Stats and spotter day loose. Oh, 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 Hungry man gets it. Billy Davis had a shot at it. I don't know if he finally came up with it. Good grief. And this separates the men from the boys on loose balls. You wow. practice it throughout training camp. Pittsburgh defensive, got it back. Defensive okay. players do it all the time. Offensive guys, I don't think they practice the fumble rooster enough. Ball on the ground. Getting after it. Take a look from the end zone. Boy, Pitt is that's he's, he's Little exchange points, a little off, but then you get a hit. Boy, that's, that's good defense again. West Virginia. I mean, I, that thing goes with how you coach it. You coach the kids to knock the ball out, to tackle the football. Austin Malika came back to get it. Second Top and a good. long way to go. Second and 23. Can't afford a mistake here. Going to throw. Gets rid of it. Got a man, Davis. Not that I'm answered about the 22-yard line. Breathing room. We never found out what happened to JT Thomas. He missed a few plays early on the first half. They've been a force. Bill run. Yeah, boy, they made a back. force. I mean, he, they forced that fumble. Ryan now has gone over 300 yards passing. In relief of Sean Fitzgerald. Third down and eight from the 22. 
What a remarkable game. 33 all. We're in the fourth quarter. Five minutes to go. Ryan under pressure. Picked up. Oh, he should have had it. That was six for James Thomas. There was nobody that could have stopped him. He caught that ball like a linebacker. Oh, man. He'll look back on this one. Faith, watch your faith. And again, I mean, I won't take anything away from the performance that John Ryan has had, but if there's one thing, and I'm sure Coach Majors, Ken Carter, everybody will be. You cannot telegraph your pass from Division One. You can't do it. I mean, the interception is supposed to be a tough thing to have, not like going to the candy shop. Cochran, first punt of the second half, a line drive, a wonderful bounce from Pitt. Vanterbilt breaks his man down, gets to the corner. Penalty flag, right in the back, no doubt, at the 35. 49-yard punt, a lot of it rolled for Nate Cochran. Yeah, way to go on the bounce, though. And the food shows some guts, sure did. Illegal block in the back, door to return, above the waist. A 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Kills you, just kills you. You know, we get back to Ryan a little bit, but if he can develop that, just that ability to just look you off a little bit. I mean, he's got he's got a real feel for the position, you know, and he knows where to go with the football, but you just can't telegraph. Locks in on that first receiver, the primary receiver. They got a barn burner going, too. Nebraska finally got another another uh, touchdown. Yeah, defense, so that's, that's hard to do. Ohio State. Dukies. Duke with a win. Duke in the ACC is now 3-0, 6-0 overall. Cavaliers. For the Mountaineers, first and 10 from the 23. Johnson's got time. Not for much longer. Nice play by John McCray. Brings him down. Lose five on the play. Fifth and sack. There is no substitute, my friend, for speed. You can be in the right position. You can have a lot of things going for you. But you got to get to the football. Again, they go back to the play fake. They are content to do this. I think they have to try to establish a run a little better before you can do that. Tom Barnt forces the pressure, and here comes Mr. McCray. Can't turn the corner on him. Just great speed. Back to the 18-yard line and did lose five on that play. Johnston out pattern. Nobody home. Now, this is a shame for both defensive units that ultimately will have a winner and a loser rather. Because these guys, <laughs> Don Neal's thinking, my goodness. Don't forget, we don't have overtime, so at the, at the rate these two clubs are going, it can stay like this. We got 353 to go and we're still tied at 33, but at your sentiment, it's on the money. There's no question about that. And the effort has been marvelous. West Virginia's had 33 points since the 525 mark left in the first half. EP and not scored here in the second half. And the gun, pressure over the middle. Venture pull catches, dropped it. Oh, he dropped another big, big big play for West Virginia. Oh. Throws his helmet down. He I, didn't get it done. Man. Bad news, you got to go to the sidelines and face Don Dillon after this. Nice move. Oh, boy. Rashawn, oh. super move, pal. He gets the separation. You know, in the clutch deal on third down, that's a money route. He is there, baby. Just couldn't hold on. Wow. Hit 10 men up at the front trying to go after Sauerbrunn again. Billy Davis got a block. They might think at some go. point and get it to the return. Boy, Vanderpool has had a great day. He's got a touchdown. Oh, he's a player. He's had two chances now to help the ball. Third play. down, you bet. Sauerbrunn, 10th punt. Didn't get it. Not a typical Sauerbrunn punt. Mostly stops the bounce. Bounds at the 40-yard line. Knuckle hit play by oh, Casper with oh, number five. Nailed a guy out of bounds. And that will kidding. cost Pitt. There was no kidding. reason to do that. 
you fight your guts out for field position. Here, Mosley, he's going to the sidelines. He's trying to turn this thing up. Okay, he's down there. And he's also out of bounds. Now you watch this. You see, this kills you. You cannot have a knucklehead move in the fourth quarter. You gotta have plays, playmakers, and smart football players. On the return team, a 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Oof. First down. That's a killer. That is an absolute killer, and there's nothing Johnny Majors can do about that because it happened right in front of him. He saw it. Hey, you gotta try. You know. Boy, boy, boy. Can't say enough about Pitt's defense. They've been outstanding. This play right here is a killer, though. The 15 yards from Eric Casper Owens. Well, you know, he said it rolling rock open, but then he just score on defense. Mm -hmm. And it may boil down to that. And to the 25, clock's going to start going against Pitt. Pump and go. Jones, got he's there. Complete at the 41 of West Virginia. First down, Pitt. Ball took forever to come down, but a big play, 34 yards to Dietrich Gell. Oh, boy. That's the number 26 making the play. Now you got it. See, you see the pump. Buy you some time. He gets a nice up move. Now you find the ball. You keep the foot in. Perfection. Aaron Beasley on the play. Boy, it's so nice to see it done right. Ball at the West Virginia 41. Going up against Beasley. He's a man, so that's, that's good stuff. Gels, four catches, a buck 85. <laughs> Billy West, good block, they force him back inside, picks up two. That's David Mayfield oh. came up and he had a collision and a half with Maurice Washington. That's the way you force. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, man. Made Billy West cut it up. Mountaineers. Good play by Mayfield, number 30. Well, it's just an unselfish approach to playing the game. You know, you got to force, you have to do some dirty work on defense, on offense, and some guys don't do it. Gels to the top of your screen, Davis to the bottom. Second down, bottom end of the box for West Virginia. They show blitz. Ryan, they see it, looking for a fade. Got a man down there, it's Billy Davis up in the air, can't get it. Maybe jumped a little too soon. Van Washington covering with help from Harold Kidd. He packed the box on this one. Whoa, Auburn streak lives at 18. They knock off number one Florida. Terry Bob. <laughs> that opens the door yeah. Nebraska. for Nebraska. Oh, yeah. And Penn State with a W today. AP's going to have to make some decisions now, pal. Third down and eight. That's a beauty here. Terry Bobby. Got to love that. Into the swamp and he wins. Ryan under pressure, looking for shovel pass. And he throws it, gets rid of it, and he flags. No. The intended receiver was Gels, and Gels is getting up slowly. Looks like he was driven into the turf. He might have a shoulder yeah, problem. Crushed. like they tried a shovel pass. That's exactly what it was, a shovel pass that they tried to make happen yeah. right here. Yeah. You got a shovel right from Tafoni. He showed him the shovel all right. 97, Stephen Perkins just killed that play. Perkins has been on, man. Perkins has been on fire. Look at the end of this play. Now, you're going to see exactly what happened to the shovel pass. Oh, oh boy. That's a little elbow, too. Might be a bone on that one. Might be. That's a ball. Oh, that's an L, one of the all-time elbows ever caught on video. Major league hit. Oh my goodness! You see, you put you, you put the receiver at a, at a disadvantage when you're looking for something to happen. You got to keep your eye on the quarterback. Oh man, good read. Woof. Dietrich Gels getting up, and he's all right. He's a man. You boys back in the Erie. The boys the back in Erie know he. Yeah. They know he can take a punch. Well, you fellas, you get back and they say, "Hey, man, hey, you know, you, we with you." Because you know then, he's a warrior. He got popped. Boy, that's, one, that's a Dick Butkus kind of hit. Ooh. He'd love to see Dick play with the Bears. He'd knock your memory out of you. <laughs> and your family. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. 236, you better have it strapped on. Cochran, pooching, left corner. Is he going to get it? No, close, but he didn't get it. 
This has been some afternoon at Pitt Stadium. I know about you, but my VCR is going off. <laughs> we hope for more of same next week at either West Virginia, Boston College, or Virginia Tech. Big East football coming at you 12 noon next Saturday. David Mayfield said, I got a free one here. I'm punching it. Well, great hit. Wow. And you know what he like makes it. it better when it's legal, too. It's a legal hit, but boy, it was brutal. All right, what's going to happen here? West Virginia's offense has been shut down. Got to get the tight end ball. Off for Vanterpool. Pressure throws it away. They look for Vanterpool. Ooh. Got away with one. Pressure by Chavis and Moody. You know, I hate tie. We had 17-17 tie back in the Stone Ages against Ohio State back in 1976. And it's just, it just does nothing for you, right? Rutgers, BC easing off Temple a little bit, third period. Tech has regained the lead against East Carolina. That's a heck of a game. Johnston, three for his last 14. Needs, he's had several drops now. His defense, yeah. Vanderbilt has had two huge drops. But the Barber, nowhere to go. The pursuit, Pitt's defense, I'm telling you, this is not the same defense that gave up 600 plus yards last week and they have been marvelous this afternoon no they are playing as if you know, i mean from a team standpoint as if they all run for it four seven as a defense they are just enthused they finally got a break and they're playing well so it's third and 11 inside of two minutes Imagine what Pitt would be like if they had their players healthy. You bet. Let's see again. It's picked up. Vanderpool is there. He can go. Let's see. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, West Virginia. He broke one. Salvation for Rasan Vanderpool. 81 yards, and West Virginia takes the lead. Boy, it's nice to see a kid redeem himself. I got to tell you, man, when you drop a couple of like that, you think about it, you want to come back and get it. What a big play. Johnston to Vanderpool covering 81 yards. This takes the win out of the sails. See, he had time. He puts it up real long. Nice separation. At this point, it's dragging, but you're just not going to catch me. Referee kind of chips in a little bit. Mosley can't get it done. Still like to see him dive close for the strip. Can't get it. Touchdown. Out there. Wow. Big play. Bauman for the point after is good. With a buck 32 to go. The Mountaineers up top for 81. Rasan Vanterpool. That's about a month for a lot of receivers. Well, he went from having to wear a bag over his face all next week going to class to where now he can strut his stuff. Boy, good separation, good catch, and this is what wide receivers live for. That pull away, that acceleration where you can hit pay dirt. Boy, that's nice. Let's take a look at Chad. Chad's going, oh my, hey, he got one, great. And the other thing, he's happy too. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, it, yeah. nobody killed me on yeah, the blitz because it, it was picked up a nice job yeah. by yeah. West Virginia. The lineman, Derek Bell, the center peeled back and got a piece of a uh, couple of blitzers. Yeah, boy, Jay Brooks did a great job for him. Hager's been big. Click. That offensive line is just tough because it has been pounding. First score of the second half by West Virginia. Totally shut down by the pit defense. And they break one big. Johnston is thrown for 337 yards. And you're right. That's a good point. Does not have to wear a bag around the campus of Morgan Tech. Oh, no. Because dunk. Oh. You know, you got to go to class. So what do you do? It's not like you can just hang out in your dorm room all week, wait till the next game. you got to show up. You know, in the pros, you can go to practice and go right home. You don't have to go shopping or whatever. You can send the wife out. In college, man, you're exposed. you got to show up. Sauberin, boy, he negates that return. There's no return there. Blasted out of the end zone. Pitt got to respond with a minute 32 to go. Rasan Vanterpool, nine catches, 207. It's a career wow. at a tight end. If you're a tight end, that's a career. But again, then again, 
I was going to say it gives a lot of credit to Mike Jacobs, Nealon, amen. You're the guy. You got to do it. That's all there's to it. You drop two big, big third downs. Now, Johnny Major's club, fellas, we got to respond. Well, they've had field position. So, Coach Majors, I mean, they have no one to blame because they definitely had some opportunities. And it's 32 to go in what has been a beauty. Ryan tried to go deep. How'd he get free? Underneath, ask you. First down, jumps over, and he's out of bounds at the 38. That play was almost dead. Van Washington comes up to stop him. <laughs> Boy, that was ugly. That was ugly. Almost like John wanted to go down and take a sack. Then he said, well, they won't grab you, so I'll keep going with it. Tell you what, as goofy as this game is, Rasan, you may not want to celebrate just yet. Rasan, you better chill out, man. Minute 23 to go. Five wides. Timeouts remaining three apiece. Ryan got a man down there. It's Askew. Askew is there. Oh, he dropped it. Went right through his hands at the 26. Coverage by Harold Kidd. This has been an explosive game, Doc Walker, and it just isn't over. Need a playmaker. This is the thing about wide receivers. A lot of guys can catch hitches and outs. You know what I mean? You want to, you want to be All-American, you got to get up and take some balls away. Not only that, all you need is one bonehead trying to be a hero going for a pick, and it's six the yeah, other way. Yeah, you can. No, it's, it's, it's possible. Love the five wide receiver offense that Pitt has employed. And it's 17 to go. Ryan over the middle. It's caught by Davis. He took himself out of a first down. He may have gotten it back. He may have gotten it back. The beauty of this sport is that you got to think under tremendous pressure. You know, you've got to be conscious of down and distance. Timeouts remaining for Pittsburgh. The Hurts Club. 105 to go. And he is about ball length short of a first down, which he would have got an automatic clock stop. The point. See, as a receiver, it's your job to know exactly where that marker is. That's the first thing you do. You adjust the route based on the depth it takes to get the first down. What kind of a play here would you anticipate Johnny Majors and Ken Carter to try to cook up here? Well, if you got two timeouts, you could still play maybe one play or so in the middle of the field. Uh, West Virginia is going to be looking for those corner routes. Uh, you'd like to catch it and get out of bounds, you know, and, and save it. But you need a big play. No matter what you put up on a blackboard, somebody's got to go up and take the ball away from somebody else. That's how it works. Somebody's got to make a big play. Keep your eye on John Jones. That tight end. Right. Yeah, I like the kid a lot, and I think he's due. 87th meeting, backyard brawl. Billy Davis, what a day, six catches, 102 yards, fourth receiver, over 100 yards this afternoon for Pitt. Uh, in the game for two and two for both clubs. Third and short, Ryan, draw, nicely done. Big yard if he goes down, that'll stop the clock to move the chains. Balls to the 37, David Mayfield makes the stop with help from Emmanuel. That was a gutsy call. He looked a lot faster than, than I know he is on that play. It's Except amazing how you pass you can run when you're scared. Charlie Coe, assistant head coach, running back coach, getting those plays in. Boy, that was a great call. Ryan, underneath, Askew, out of room, 25-20, back against the grain, holds on to the ball at the 16. Yeah, that won't hurt you. Stops the clock again, first down, Pitt with 45 seconds to go. Won't hurt you at all. I'll say one thing, if they get in the end zone, I know Majors is going for, for the deuce. No way he's going for the tie. Oh, no way. Not even, I mean, let's eliminate that from consideration right now. Not when you're hosting the homecoming. <laughs> no. You know. <laughs> and, and three of the dream backfielder here, yeah. I don't think so. A couple, two injured players down, one for each club. Combination collision and fatigue. Pittsburgh had to call a timeout. They have one remaining. Don Nalen's got three left for West Virginia. Medical staffs from both schools out there attending. I want to remind you, Miami, West Virginia, Rutgers, Pitt. I think that Rutgers, BC, and Pitt, Virginia Tech could be on our menu. Join us 12 noon Eastern time.
I don't know if you win anything if you pick the right game. Right now, I, we can't promise you anything. But hopefully, it will be as exciting as today's contest has been, which is approaching uh, Doc Walker, the four-hour mark. Yeah, well, my VCR is dead, so... <laughs> I did another pit game here earlier this year. Their opener yeah. against Texas. Same type of game. Uh -huh. Up and down. It was 30-28, and that game went four hours plus. Thanks a lot for telling me now. Emmanuel was one of the injured players for the Mountaineers. Been all over the field. He really had. Coach Dunlap, uh, I'm sure he'll find something because he's a coach, but man, the effort has been great. Both of these defensive coordinators really did a fine job and have a, a lot to be proud of. This baby's not over. Oh, no. 45 seconds to go, Pitt. The kicking, scratching, banging on the door at the West Virginia 17. Five wide outs. They show blitz. They bring it. Ryan finds a man all over the place. There it is. John Jones, the intended receiver at the five. Doc Walker with another call today where there'll be no stopping this year. Smoking, baby. Take me to AC right after this game. Interference on the defense. Spot foul on the first down. This low BM. You gotta go to the tight end. You see Blitz. There he is. You got a size advantage. He's getting mauled inside. David Mayfield. Oh, yeah. Mayfield all, all over. over him. If you want a drama, you got more than a couple bucket holes today, boy. First and goal for the Pit Panthers, down 40-33. 40, 41 seconds to go in the backyard draw. Five flat outs for the Panthers. They may try the old alley oop and ask you six foot four, top of the screen. Good idea. There it is. Ask you touch the pay. Dave, you called it. Unfortunately, the PAT is not automatic. You got that right. Chad Askew scored a touchdown in his first career catch at Pitt in the West Virginia game back in 1991. He did the same thing, David. First catch in college for a touchdown. What a marvelous game. What Michigan a marvelous State, effort. Yeah. You, you did yeah, your first, first game? First catch, touchdown. All right. Johnny Majors, there's a reverse mate. Uh, angle hey, you right watch here. this, see? Boy, it's like, just like run and shoot. Run and catch, take a hit in the face, goes back, puts the paws on it, touchdown, Panthers. The Harold Kidd. Oh, yeah. Let's watch this again. Well, look right Offensive line, him. Orlandini up front, picks up the slant real well. Boy, that's there. That is there. And you come off the bench as a quarterback. Look at that. Look at that. And John Ryan putting up all these numbers today in relief of Sean Fitzgerald. A lot of credit to the Pitt defense, but that doesn't mean anything. What happens now is the game. Yeah. They've got to score the two-point conversion. I love this. I love this. Ryan, 19 for 34, 393 yards, four touchdowns. Yeah, the tie would get you nothing. Plus, it's not automatic. But it's not even automatic That's here. That's right. You know, going for the deuce. Davis, Jell, Jay Jones, number 21, another good hands guy, another receiver is playing on the uh, defensive back, is in the game for additional speed. I like Askew. I like Askew on this. Davis to the top with Askew, Jones, and Jells to the bottom. Pitt went for a deuce last year against yeah. Syracuse and didn't get it, trying to run. West Virginia wants to regroup. Don Nealon's club was up 31-6. This game looked like it was over. And that way back in the second period. How about that 1970 match? That's right. West Virginia led 35 to 8 at the half. And Pitt came back to win 36-35. These regional, these matchups are just so special. Well, rivalries, man. It's just classic rivalry. And it wouldn't matter if this thing wasn't on TV, if there was nobody here. These guys went out and played at a park. You know, they're going to fight their guts out. We had... We had onsides, right. we had blocked punts, we had blocked two-point conversions, we had interceptional two-point conversions, punt, we had had all. And I tell you what, <laughs> the 
Todd Wharton onside kick class should be a primer oh, yeah. for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> for uh, how to and how not to defend it because West Virginia just peeled and turned and again they ran right up the backs and recovered. There's a highlight in this country that that will make up, oh, man. Here though, they've worked well with the passing game. Might they try to pull them up, spread them, and then run it? Yep. Well, I don't know if you're going to put this on the ground. I, I think you got to have a run, run pass option on this. Here we go. For the game. Ask you in motion. They go with it. Puffy Ray. Picks the action. Ryan. He got it. Oh, he got it. Pick takes the lead. Of all people, John Ryan. Can you believe this? Run option. Run option was there. What an effort. Unbelievable. The last guy you'd expect to carry it. John Ryan. And that's why it worked. Well, when you got Billy West in the backfield, you have got to honor him because he runs so well. You know, let's put you in quarterback right now. First of all, get that snap. You get the snap, you got the read. You fake the call. Make you know, you expect Mason to do that. Serves you. If you respect that for John Ryan, hit it, hit That's the move. That let's is take another outstanding. Angle. Here's the key. Ryan's got to be the most valuable player. He almost stumbles, but he dives and gets it in there. That's for the money. And West Virginia had the pitch man shut down. Matt Tafoni was all over Billy West. Boy, West again, we key. said, when we said we had the shot of Vanderpool, don't celebrate too soon. Same goes for Pitt with 38 seconds good to point. go. Good, good point. But, you know, again, if you're playing a team that runs the option well and yeah. runs it a lot, if Mason and Syracuse is with this, you're in a world of trouble. You don't expect Ryan to do it. How do you take this guy out of the starting lineup now? I don't know if you do. Two timeouts remaining for West Virginia. John Ryan, no matter the outcome of this game, has certainly established himself in pit lore now, coming off the bench to lead this comeback. Hard not to play the kid. He's a Spartan. Spartan. He's got a win that can pick the program up. Here's another thing to think about that Don Nalen has in his arsenal. His long-distance field goal kicker is Todd Sauerbrunn. Oh, my goodness. You're right. That's an ugly thought. All they got to do is be with about 70 yards in. Sauerbrunn had his 0 for 1. The attempt was plus 50 yards. See, I think you boom this one. You get it out, and you cover it. Todd Barton will kick it. This has been a magnificent contest. 41-40 pit. He booms it. 38 seconds. Vanderpool at the goal line. To the 10. Finds a hole. Wow. The 27. That's a great return. Oh, oh, That's a great return. Wow. Mountaineers have two times out remaining. 32 seconds to go. Kid Beasley, the defensive unit, they can't believe that Pitt went down the field and scored. Oh, it's sour, Burn. You could play this a couple of ways. One for the field goal. I want to see if you can break one. If it was the Miami Dolphins, you know you get that hitch and pitch. Manager ball in the slot to the top of your screen. Many field outside him. Johnston steps up. What a run. Does the smart thing and gets out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. Boy, that's great play. Great play by Chad on that. Boy, if you get sacked at that point, still got two TOs, man, but you don't want to use them. 24 seconds to go in as exciting a game as I've ever been associated oh, with. This, is, this is Newman Raluno. Keep your eye on 67, John McCray. 24 seconds to go. Johnson. The running game, Tyler Young forces him. He's got a man down the sideline. Oh, he's got it! He's got it! Touchdown, West Virginia! Zach Abraham and the Mountaineers are back on top with 15 seconds to go. Oh, my goodness. How in the world do you let a guy get in back of you with this kind of time on the clock? Oh. What are you thinking? You're in a semi prevent oh, defense. Man. I don't believe it. Are you kidding me? 60 yards on the play to Zach Abraham. Six catches, a buck 79, two touchdowns. Good stun up front. Boy, you gotta give Chad some credit on that. He stepped up in the pocket, and it's like Mosley was thinking, oh, he's gonna be sacked. Hey man, you gotta play the defense. College football.
big time. Bowman's kick is good. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is not the game of the entire day. And dies. I'll jump out of this booth. I'm telling you, Auburn may have won in Florida, but this is the game of the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is it. <laughs> oh, boy. It all starts once again with the offensive line up front. Pretty good protection. He steps up in the pocket. You think he's down. And, boy, he throws that on the run. Got a little duck to it, but it's there. Just don't let it happen. You take the pass in a fear of, you do whatever it takes. Two plays, 72 yards, 23 seconds for West Virginia. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I'm too old for this kind of stuff. Well, if you weren't, you are now. <laughs> Still got time. Still time. On I'm telling you. I, I said it, I've already said it twice, that, you know, don't celebrate too early. Johnston, I may get out of here with a voice Vanderpool after this. Who may get the last one. 16 for 36 for Johnston. 397 yards and four touchdowns. Boy, I think it's, I think it's better. It's, even, it's a sweeter win if you're on the road. For a road team to come into this pit and make this happen in those circumstances. Truly incredible. Try to build a program, both majors understand. 790 yards passing on the afternoon combined by these two clubs. Johnny Major saying, make them kick it again. Yeah, I don't know why you kicked it out of bounds. Yeah, really. I'm telling you, this has been amazing. Johnston's thrown for 397, Ryan for 393. Total of 790. And ticking. Still going, man. This thing is still going, still alive. Four hours and change here at Pitt Stadium. 38,000 have seen this game, which will be remembered for a very long time. 38,293. Don Nealon, again, his club was up 31-6. What time's the bus back to Morgantown, right? I don't know. It'll just float back. It'll float back. This is why you coach. These are the games, man. Been more peaks and valleys in this game. And how do you figure Pittsburgh's defense completely shuts down West Virginia in the second half, and then they give it up twice? Yeah, Delic County. They let it roll through the end zone. They may have to just down it there, and that's what they're going to do. Boy, Al Hines with a quick whistle as Jay Jones fields it, and Pittsburgh to put it in play with 15 seconds to go. And you can still get a bomb, a pass interference. I mean, we still we had two plays. They come out and execute properly. Big ball! Big ball! The big football! Just think if you decided not to come to this, you know, you'd be kicking yourself. Fifteen seconds to go. West Virginia and everybody back. It's hung out. Gels is there. And it's an incompletion. 45 of the Mountaineers. There's been more ebb and flow to this game than I've seen in many, many, many years. Oh, this is a classic. This and is we what thought you're for. with Ryan, of all people, two-point conversion, what better period to this game. But, you know, when you think that, that's when I got triple zeros up on the clock, that's when the game's over. Eight seconds to go. This is probably going to do it here. 
Ryan throws it high and far. Beasley's there. Washington's there. It's caught. You it. believe that? He's got it. Gell's no got time. it. Time runs out at the 38. The game is over. And our player of the game is Zach Abraham, who had a fabulous game. Six catches, 179 yards, and a game-winning touchdown to win it. 47-41 for West Virginia. What a game. For Doc Walker, I'm Dave Sims. And our entire Big East crew, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. The final, West Virginia 47, Pittsburgh 41. <laughs> Has been a Big East Television Network production. Good afternoon, everyone.